Okay. I think this is a keep. When moves to six. Could be weak in some matchups, but. Shadow Speed already in hand makes double saga. Okay. Can maybe even fetch Nettle Cyst here. Vantage. Well, if that's Bern, then I am glad to have Shadow Spear in my hand. He's a phenomenal control player. Happy 22 months of having me as a sub. Plot Radio, thank you very much for your Prime Gaming sub. Good draw. Shadow Spirit in hand makes Double Saga even better because now you can get two Bond Splitters and really go to town. Maybe I should play a Bond Splitter for that reason. Because for clarity, I don't. This is actual burn. Should be a good matchup. Have two Orvars, which is good against uh, creativity, not burn, but we have them. We have four spell pierces to pierce the spells, so not even afraid of deflecting poem. How am I today? It's impossible to say because the day just started, so I'm not really yet today. But I'm about to be. Be good, I think. Da weiter, da make you goblin guide, guida. How were you yesterday? Oh, I was damn fine. Yesterday was so fine that I was fine. Orosham face, snap. Actually on 10 life. I am unconvinced with Orvar spell pierce. No, Orvar is great. I am convinced by that. Spell pierce is a card that I'm not heavily in emotionally invested into either. <coughs> It was kind of rough when I played about it, but then when I played with it, it was also kind of rough, so... It's hard to make definite judgments. Could have Sanctifier versus Burn, but it doesn't really seem to matter. Same list as yesterday, yeah, I haven't changed a single card. Well, it's okay. Break, skip Caldra. Well, cancer changed his hair. No, I just watched it before streaming today. Did I change any artworks? No, I just didn't do any swaps. I think Sanctifier doesn't matter. I will have a creature and we don't need, need that. Your hair looks very light colored. I guess it doesn't help. Basically, don't like reactive answers to the reactive things. 
Yeah, well, there's I've been I've been wrecked by a few cards, which you cannot proactively answer. You cannot proactively answer Pulse of Vigor. It's also that the Hammer deck has. A good amount of cards are great. So like 50 cards in the deck are great and then the 10 remaining are gonna be medium. So like if you swear to stay to mono white your replacements for spell piece would also be unimpressive. Colossal summer, well that's a plan. I guess I'll hit them back. Or do I block? Blocking seems not good. I mean, I don't know. They go to A, they need to leave a blocker or a palm. They could have a path. Attack for two, three, four. And two free damage burn spells is ten. Well, actually, maybe let's not block. Let's not attack. The best running top there is not on model. No, it is. Smash the smithereens, oh kurva. That's death. But yeah, the one way to be more proactive with hammer is to play more spring leave them zero drops. It's not actually good, it's a problem. It's not not like you have excel, excellent cards in your deck then. Replace Smash and I probably should have Caldera over Title Assist. I mean not like it's surprising that I play Smash, but Or maybe I should have a Sanctifier over that. I'm like gonna get Shadow Spirit all the time. On the play, I can play Sanctifier and block and just drawing an equipment. I think it could be fatal. This is not excellent, but... I mean, if I play it on turn 2, they can't attack me.
Saga in hand, we keep. I could fetch Hallowed Fountain, but I will not. Pioneer to day two? Probably not, unless I go O2 in modern. <clears throat> Probably will just play the modern one. We the best card for them. Drawing Shadow Spear, that's not actually good. I mean, no, it's not bad either. It's okay. Should I tackle the Sentinel? Skill being able to protect spear is so hacking good. Yeah. In a way. He's a phenomenal control player. Sweet 16. Thank you, Tika, Tika 12. He's a phenomenal control player. I could have attached Shadow Sphere to the Sentinel on this turn. I would really like to make a construct. I would really not like to lose my shadow spear. I think we, if we make a construct, we're mostly gonna be okay though. We have gingerbread to fetch too, which is also gain life. The construct should just race. Sorry, too bad I missed one point of damage unnecessarily. Do I not like Seal Shaper's Gift? I'm very lukewarm on Seal Shaper's Gift. So I guess you could say I do not like it, yeah. Well, we scaled that right. I mean, I don't have much reason to. I think. Mm. 
I mean, I have Seagram goes, so I mean, whatever with the fountain. That probably would have been better of fetching sorcery speed if we thought of where there. Which is not super weird for Baron to play both Werther and smash the smithereens. Smash is a free roll, so you should as already play four, always. Because of how good that is. It's a bit weak if they untap into Smash on my Shadow Spear, but let's hope not. Guida, okay. Sigarda Zaid, okay, I don't mind Sigarda Zaid. In fact, it's pretty good. Anime, yeah. What up with anime, Durset? You're not deflecting Palmy now. Lining Helix. Well, Spell Pierce is certainly... can be quite nice against Baron. But we do win the match by, by attacking with... A 10, 12 or in top there in a 2 2 lifelink trample as per sentinel. Very good keywords, trample and lifelink. Both scaling a lot with creature size. I was also meant to... Wait, there's a vintage preliminary, so vintage is gonna be in the mox. Still. But yeah, I meant to wake up for the vintage one, I failed. There was a time change today too, so that made it even less time. But unfortunately I have skipped. Mm.
Okay, Modog Modogon. Legacy secret deck. <laughs> yes. The secret deck is actually Monored Prison. It's one of the worst kept secrets worldwide. Although even then when I streamed with Legacy Secret Deck Prelim later in the title, people were puzzled as to what it's gonna be. A staff of Storyteller won Legacy yesterday. Bro, I don't know what's what's the staff of the Storyteller. I think I've seen a screenshot including that card, but I didn't investigate further. Staff of the Storyteller. Two mana, artifacts, not an equipment. When enters, create a spirit with flying, okay. Whenever you create one or more creature tokens, put a story counter on staff. Remove a story counter from staff, draw a card. And, and that's actually good. Legacy. You need to put more tokens on this. You need to put more tokens into play to make to put counters on this. Sure. Congrats to the winner. I guess the spirits are good at seeing the initiative. Well. Let's go with stuff of Nin instead of stuff of the storyteller. Yeah, we have learned nothing besides the fact that the card is old. Ah. Oh. Um. So you can name an old creature, maybe. That is uncommon. Or common. So you can go with wild wild dogs. Okay, so this is an uncommon. Uncommon creature. Non green. From between the co cock wheels and M twelve, which famously came in no, M13, which famously came out in M2012. Mero Rijeri. What is a Rijeri? Okay, so it's older than Lorwyn. It's not blue. So that leaves us with blue-green Mardu colors. But it is free mana. So a free mana uncommon creature from Tavi Spira <sighs> in Mardu colors. Goblin Warchief. 
that's not from Time Spiral, but fits. Okay, so we know it's red now, and it's newer than 03. So this new new border. So let's name something from original Ravnica or Kamigawa block. You know, it's from between Dark Steel to to Time Spiral. So his name Kamigawa. Original Kamigawa Red Free Drop Uncommon Creature. Um, Magus of the Moon is a uh, rare, I assume. Well, Red Shrine is not a creature. Brothers Yamazaki are are legendary, so they can't be. Aki Cole Finger. Mm, the list. Attacking creatures gain first strike until end of turn. First strike. Cold Flinger, not Finger. We know it's another goblin though, yeah, that's true. Wall of Stones. Wall of Tombstones, that's not the card you're thinking of. Wall of Rocks. Doesn't exist. Wall of Stone. Well, it's from Alpha, bro, so... 08? What the heck? Were there even any 8 power creatures in Alpha to punch through it? Force of Nature was 8 power, I guess. Maybe. Or maybe it's seven? It's eight. All right, Force of, Force of Nature was able to punch through that. What an artwork. It blinked and flower petals fell like tears. Arthur, sensing weakness, attacked and his blood fell like petals. And then petals, 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 petals. Six mana eight eight summon force it has the Uro face. That's actually true. <clears throat> Center of attention. Fluros of Miras Marvels. Merfolk performer. Bro, I search for Uro, what the hell? Uro gets 100 cards, yeah, Uro Teat. So much weep shit, yeah. You could just request non weep shit and then it's gonna it's gonna be better. For your tests. Skip a weep shit now. If you truly want to to like show off that you're not a weeb, you cannot recognize the difference between K and J. Hey Kaniki. I lost in the top eight of the modern challenge yesterday. How do you handle death losses? I don't, I get mad. Or rather, I just don't lose. In tough spots, all my losses are easy when I get just destroyed. Still a mystery to me, the Uros posture, right? 
This is one of Uro's hands. This is another. Those are his legs and this is his mouth. How does that work? Because his body is the land. No, it's the clouds. It's in the clouds. Does Uro need to have a human anatomy? Well, what we see of Uro is human, but yeah, maybe... Maybe the cloud, maybe his body is the clouds. This is the underworld. Yeah. Is it? It sure looks like. Yeah, the alt, alt art of Uro is just like way different. It's not even the same Uro. This is just a giant dude. But this he's just like traversing through clouds. He is the clouds. Unchained now. This is Crocs and Uro bound by Clotis. You can see that Uro has a gamer posture here too. He's poking. There is something else here. I don't know if that's a Titan too. Crocs are Cyclops. I think Crocs has no no face. Besides the mouth. And has another mouth on the belly. And another mouth here and here and here. Crocs is actually naked. From from the distance, I always thought it's just some kind of clothing, but it's actually just chains. Oh, you just sent me a picture of Crocs, which I appreciate. Oh, high res. Okay. It's a very fun fact, Yendrek. It's a lot of high res images, yeah. Some people could use it, yeah. Maybe Ender could find it useful for some reason, I don't know. This looks a bit wrong. This cloth is wearing a helmet.
This doesn't even look much like the Croxa from the artwork, but it has the belly. Belly mouth. Let's continue about the hair. No. Like the zoom. But you can see the arms. Actually, we'll be in a barky pangelsko. Shoulders, I guess. It's bending over, yeah. What does that? Add up with everything else we know. can see a small tooth here. What happened to our magic world thing? We're still thinking. But we got distracted by Uro. It just takes human form at will, probably. Whoever had the idea of the sucking mouth for Uro was a genius. Okay, animate emotes. 
and 70 V. Does it have the same function as Twitch? You have to summon already animated. Child, we did it. What do I play on PC when I don't feel like magic in my free time? I play Genshin Impact. And sometimes some other games. But it's not on my PC. I have a PlayStation, a Switch, and I play Slay the Spire on the Switch a lot. Well, I play New Zelda for sure. No streams in May because I will be playing Zelda 20 hours a day. Stream Zelda? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I guess I'll stream Zelda, but... Like if, I, if I stream, but like I have few viewers, then I would get annoyed by this, but if I don't stream, I would have no viewers, so... It's li literally the same. Honestly. Or rather, there is no downside in that manner. That said, we had to think up of a Kamigawa uncommon creature, or a Ravnica uncommon creature. Just a sleeping stream, sure. Ogre, Samurai, Mercenary, Bushido one. At the beginning of your upkeep, if a player has more cards in hand than any other, the player with the most cards in hand gains control of Sokens and Red and Jade. Okay, so this is from 2004. What does 100% focus gaming mean? Is that I don't double queue. So champions, fifth on, dunk steel. Only three sets in the air.
Maybe Sparks I think that's not from Mirrodin. Yeah, it's not from Mirrodin. Also, it's two mana in common. Back then there was a corset every two years. Damn. You want a course every month? No, you don't. Tofu just ate him off. So we're playing with it for a few minutes. Yeah, it was a common, the Dark Crack Clan. We need an uncommon. That was so small too. 165 card sets? That's crazy. They drafted them together with the other sets. There's literally no card that fits the criteria. I probably scrolled through it rather than there isn't one, but it cannot be from Kamigawa. They have one set left. No, it cannot be from 05. Oh, champion is the O4, okay. CHK. Also, my match started, so let's go first. Arc Mage, bro, you fucking spoiled it. You ruined it. It's obviously pain, Kami. Yeah, it cannot be brothers because they're legendary. Two eights. Oh, they want Sentinel though.
Roberto Michael posted that he broke modern and in the background you can see Merc Tide Rhinos. Good for him. <clears throat> is it Caldra to the mirror or is it just Colossus Hammer? Because I'm on the play and my opponent will need to block. Probably this Colossus Hammer. Oh, it's Caldra. Number one Caldra, Caldra fan in the chat. Caldra stops Ginger Brute. No, because I would be attacking with Caldra, so she does not stop it. Okay, Oliver to Michael, I'm not sure how his name is actually pronounced, but he was a member of the, or rather he was in the Discord of the Sewer Rats group for the previous PT. Uh, he didn't qualify, but somebody from the group was his friend and he was just like, wanted to help. <clears throat> and uh, he showed with a tendency to say stuff, certainly. One of those players. So, this deck is probably legend broken. So now they get a Caldra. Maybe I should have gotten a Caldra. Damn. I haven't played a mirror much. Okay, I guess we win. Lol. I'll just give plus 20 plus 20 to the one unblocked creature. Although if they play Solitude Hammer, that'll be kind of funny. To get blown out like this. If they actually were to pitch a Maria Skull and go, you know, play a rough loss as opponent. <laughs> Young Dingo version of Solitude, yeah, because he then decked some guy who wants the like one the what that, that that one tournament. The the something memorial. What's the name? Burton? All right, my cyber guy tells me to cut to bring in piffing needle, but I I don't like it. I can cut nettle so it doesn't seem like it's gonna matter most games. Skill seems okay. Needle is good canister. You know, the fact that we can get it with Saga and you decide when and like that makes it okay, but I would hate to draw it ever. Nettlesis also seems bad in most matchups. Yeah, Nettlesis is kinda kinda weird job. I'm not sure if I want to play it. It does line up well in some games with Sanctifier on Vec, and I like that. It's, I think it's, it's kind of close between Nettle Cyst and Sword of Fire and Ice. Needle is necessary evil. Bro, that's just so bullshit. It's a bullshit thing to say. I like Sanctifier on Vec, finally. A card that's, that the guy likes. 
Let's see the cream in the chat likes. Not many of those. Hmm, on the draw I'll probably die. If I go aid, saga with nothing, pass. This looks better. I wish I could keep all seven cards. Because I think Springleaf Drum is pretty powerful here. I think I'll put back Colossus Hammer, unfortunately. Really don't love that, but. Oh wow. Paradise Mantle. Very nice of them to have equipped too with the Paladin. Seems really bad. We keep up skill or we can flash in hammer end of turn. Or we can play around removal. It's not much point in equipping the ink moth. Maybe a wait still, flash it end of turn. Don't really get an attack anyway, so I want to keep up stuff and it's better to do it on my opponent's turn. <clears throat> keep up both the removal and the and the kill if possible. Then start attacking even with the Stoneforge. Next turn. Instead of equipping. Ooh, a red splash.
Guess we'll pay. Any attack for twenty one. Strong move opponent. Siema mocie, aż no siema. Jung underscore dinga. Młody. I think I've got double paladin hammer. You would tap out, that's insane. Twenty one damage on Inkmo Nexus. It does make my Stoneforge not kill any any one shot now, which is actually decent for them, but I think the symbol could ever see play, no. Still have March for Ink of then. Not give Pierce you one hammer post combat. No, what for? I mean, maybe that. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't want to give my point to draw, let my pen draw cards or anything like that. I guess I had a window to kill Paladin now, but they didn't. I was like, yeah, I guess I'll kill the hammer and then I clicked through. I think blacksmith skill is not going to be very necessary. I mean, the second paladin too. No, no, no. Don't you want to use drum? I do, yeah. the second paladin i think the blacksmith skill like if they have a removal then it's better to have the second paladin because if we tap out of the skill right now anyways i do want to use drum but i also i'm not going to let my opponent draw cards with Esper sentinel ever i think that sounds not good They have another ink moth. Yeah. Because clearly they, their hand wasn't strong. They struggled to assemble. He's a phenomenal stuff, so player. just don't want to give them Hello. any draws. I found out I am allergic to scallops. So you can block the ink moth with ink moths. It really doesn't help me much to try to kill them with poison. So I have... How much we've got? 20, so that passes a block. What is scallops? 
Oh. Tough luck. Never hard scallops. Why nie moja deklista, chłopie? No bo wolę moją. Pokaż swoją listę. No zerkniemy. I think it doesn't matter like what you play in the ten, in the like few last spots in, in the deck and when I played with too many skills it wasn't good for me. Grzebki. You play the of the stern? No, I just keep it to block. I don't... Like, they have flying blockers, it doesn't matter to attack with it. Still want to play Nettlesys? I am slightly indifferent towards Nettlesys. They can just let Stoneforge through, so we kill Stoneforge. <sighs> the X-Whale man in his guide says to play Nettlesist, and it's okay with in post-board games with uh, Sanctified on Vec. That's like the the spot where it's where the card has, has been actually been sold. Besides that, not really. And gives you a thing to search from Stoneforge if you're being interacted with. So I think we moved the uh, Colossus Hammer to Paladin. Let the Stoneforge die, so I guess we can can float white whip here play giver attack with two twelve power guys they chump with the ink moths okay I'm drawing Saga is solid, but makes this game close. Also, the ink move minus size annoying in this game. Double block? That's so bad. It's literally so bad, bro. What? Two charm locks would be okay because then you would actually get to. What the fuck was this? Because now this is still like 12 power creature, so. You still need to block this. I guess you don't need to block this. I don't know. There's reasons to keep the drum in hand. That being trickery, but I don't think it matters. Does Pro Colors make the hammer fall? It does, yeah. Debt cannot be damaged, equipped, blocked, targeted. Equipped actually shouldn't be equipped, should be attached. Enchanted. I think attached. Well, you can be attached. Wait. Can a thing with protection be enchanted with something? If you. It can, right? It continuously checks if it falls off. 
even if you were to return an aura to the battlefield without casting it. Where did the minus one counters come from? From mink mobs. Can we do anything nice? Activate ink mob, give it pro pro white. No, give it flying, no. Give it a hammer. Kill off the Minus two counters. Does Procolores make Dark Steel Garrison fall off? Probably. Of seven life. I mean, it does kill my ink move, which I think it's maybe not worth it. So I just trade ink moves. Can give protection after. After what? Can't we hammer the ink and give it flying? Yeah, and so what? If I give what protection from what? Chad, if I give protection to my ink moth, Colossus Hammer falls off. Oh, well, they have a 1 1. So I have an ink moth and I don't. They get a construct. I keep the paladins to block. They have no flyer. I have big blockers. Okay, that's fair. And then next turn they have no flying blockers. Okay, that sounds good. We don't get to attack with this guy, but I guess we just won't attack with those. This we don't want to move because it would kill off the Paladin. Protection prevents infect damage. Infect damage is damage. Protection prevents damage. Make constructs. I make a twenty twenty blocker, I think, and the paladin. Next, we can ink muffin the air for lethal if 
everything pans out. They do get to draw from draw step and draw from their hammer if they get a hammer or shadow spear. Gingerbread and we lose. No, they need gingerbread and hammer. They don't have a hammer. Like, I can take one damage, bro. More like Sig Bud MTG other than Sig Bolt MTG. Tutaj sobie bold, yeah. Czemu trzy drumy w narzędziowcu? Pokaż tę listę swoją, nie gadasz jakieś tam kryptyczne. No trzy dramy, ile tych dramów chcesz, żebym grał? Mordo, ja nie wiem, jaka jest optymalna ilość dramów. No, jak grałem cztery, to było dużo, jak grałem trzy, to jest w miarę spoko. W poradniku do Hammera użytkownik X Valley napisał, żeby nie grać aż tyle dużo zer teraz, bo bez lurusa to miękko. Tyle zer. Na co ja mówię? Rozsądnie, pokrywać to z moim doświadczeniem. Kinda weird still, they double champ to twink move a few turns ago. Oh yeah, it was a horrible move, I don't understand it. I made it 20-20, so we're safer against the hammer. And Kansta wins the match. The ink move goes through. Very nice. So we guess it's the Pain Kami. What's the French name for Pain Kami? Because pain is bread in French, so that's kind of, you know, would be funny. <laughs> pain kami. I'm surprised only two skill. I thought you had four. I played with four for a while, but the card is just not too good in multiples, because there are situations where it is not a good form of protection, and then drawing multiples is really punishing. So just splitting that with between between skill and spell pierce, it covers it covers more ground. Why is hammer nine what? How is hammer nine hundred dollars? All stone forge missing one hundred fifty. Like this hammer arc, thanks. Remember when Stoneforge Mystic was a trash GP promo? Esper Sentinel 120? Giver of Runes 30 dollars? Four calls summer 15? One Shadow Spear 20 dollars? Why the fuck is Shadow Spear 20 dollars? What the fuck? This is real. Price trend twenty euros. Stone Forge Mystic. Rose economy is made up. Pre ink of Nexus one hundred eleven. I just have all of those cards. 
I was like, yeah, what can a hammer that cost? Like $200? That wrong I was. Two flooded strand 71? I have seven strands at home. One of them is this signed by Matthew Fox. Tradif Magistrat, forty dollars for free copies. <laughs> Chad, did you know all of this? Were you, were you aware of this? Because <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> what the fuck? 42 messages? Yeah. I think you don't really have to open the messages to to reach the messages. Let me check. I'll read them off, sc off screen. It's like you can see the message in the preview of the message, so I just never opened them. That's why it says 42. Mostly please confirm the arrival messages to which I confirm the arrival. Yeah. Streamer only borrows decks for events. No, I have all of those cards. I have the entire hammer deck. Thank you for the raid. Why I didn't use Steel Shaper as gift? Well, the card kind of sucked when I play when I tried it. But I said only. It's better than Mem Knights. Well, What? It's not that expensive in Poland. I think. Well, I mean, you know, like 60s, what is maybe 50? I don't use pods for, for laundry, so maybe I'm maybe also unaware. No, it's, well, I guess it depends. But it's a bit cheaper. What was this item? $20. 
22. <laughs> 22 dollars. What the? I mean, they cheated. We told him. I don't know, I don't know how, I wouldn't know how much that would cost either, in dollars. But also I would have trouble guessing in Zlotus because this is a weird item. I mean, would you know how much would a frozen deep artichoke cost? I guess you could estimate, but I I don't know. I never bought something like that in a store. Thank you for your insight, Lizard. I have no idea what groceries cost TBH. Yeah, well, I mean, if you don't know, then that does signify that you don't need to, like, pay attention to every single one that you put into your cart. It does tell, tell you that you are, you are above a certain level of richness. Monstering zero, ile stoi co? No zero, nie wiem, ale cukrowy to jakieś tam 6-7 zł, zależy gdzie kupisz. <clears throat> no, I wouldn't play four spring leaf drum four zeros. When I tried that, I tried that exact setup. I just had drums that couldn't tap for mana. That was not good. But yeah, a pack, a similarly sized pack of dishwasher pots would like cost half, well like, I don't know, like 10 to 15 in Poland. Depends, like, I guess there's like different prices, but maybe they're smaller packs, I don't know. Maybe that's a US sized pack. Mimo ciężko metal crafta bez drumów i drumy dobre z rzuczkami, ja gram 4 skille. Yeah, I think 4 skills is not good, just... The card is strong, but... It does run into redundancy issues and that's just it. Do I grow any of my food? No. Although I make my cats fatter and fatter with every passing month. Ever so slightly. But yeah, I vibed more with more drums, like more, less free drums, like five zeros, because it just kind of makes sense. A zero is not entirely useless without a drum. But a drum is entirely useless without a zero. Which is just my main, main issue. Drum good. Well, it's good, yeah, but not when you draw three drums, no, no cards. Here's bad. CD Cream, I respect your Magic the Gathering opinion only a little bit. 
because I know I know you're very detached from the game nowadays, and you are basing your opinions on what you what was true for you ten years ago. So I will choose to respect them a little bit, but not fully. On. I'll go grab a drink before the next round starts. Oh.
Bros, I just don't get it. How does CEDH influence prices of cards so much? When CDH players need one copy for a deck. So you need four CEDH players versus one constructed player. Is there really so many? I just can't get over it. And we need four guys to outweigh one constructed person. It's casual EDH, but even casual EDH, is there really like so many multiples of four? I don't know, probably. No, no, CDH is casual, casual, casual EDH. Of course, that's that's what uh, C stands for. <laughs> Uh, we keep this, right? I mean, it's a great hand, so uh, I mean, there's no way I would mulligan this. But after this match is done, we can look at a Merktai deck and see how much that is worth. I'll see if I'll be surprised <laughs> by the prices. I mean, I expect Ragavan to be hellishly expensive, but... What are the other cards? Probably Merktite is pretty expensive. Do make what's whining about not being modded. Can you help demand, please? I have too many mods. But thank you for your application, Do make. What do I think the most expensive card in Lorwyn is? Let me think. Can I get to look at Lorwyn cards? For making my guess. Okay, it is not a Johnny Gold main. This is gonna be expensive, relatively, because it's never been reprinted. I think. Sort by price, I'll be cheating. You can sort by rarity, though. Cryptic coin is probably not very expensive nowadays. Asking the Pilgrim for EDH, yeah, I guess. Yeah, Doran's a good guess. Secluded gland, it's probably pretty expensive. No, fall planes don't count. The blue highway land, they got reprinted, so... The cock rings? I bought one cock rings too, in a spinning spike deck. But I played on one FNM and I regretted it and was, I had a really bad time. And I felt debated. Right, I'm gonna say Auntie Sovel. $22. Ashling. Ashling is not expensive. Doran. Doran is $3. Circulate Glen is $3.8. Right, what about the cock rings? $5. They got reprinted a lot. Hideaway land is free because it got reprinted in two secret lands? Wow. Fotsies is $21. 
So out of the cards I picked, Auntie's Hovel is the most expensive. Let's go price USD. Well, I don't know, it shows me Auntie's Hovel is the most expensive by, by USD. And this when you look with Fotsies. But I, I, I wouldn't have guessed Dolmen Gate, yeah. That one surprises me. <laughs> Alright. Car market says FOTC is reasonable. They dash. Maybe it was a scarped website I was using. I mean, the prices and the prices online are not real, right? The prices on TCG player are not real, they're just made up. So I just don't, I pay no mind to that. I think we make a construct. I don't think I can lose if I make a construct. No, I should have killed them. I have two hammers. Just, like, they can't stop me. They can have pierce on the second one. They can stop me a little bit. So, yeah, they could stop me a bit. That would be awkward if they would have stopped me, so. Like, I can make contract and tap. Get hammer to attach to the only top there. Dolman Gate is for the Ishleen NJS. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't think I make a construct now. I'll try to play the paladin. Why two heavens when three colors? Good question. Just fucking dies. <laughs> Those Merktax players, bros, you just like, take your time to assemble like, you know, two attempts and you're like clenching that so they don't have to remove us and they die the first one. Keeps happening. Probably means I should jump more than I do slightly more. <clears throat> it's like Coca Cola, it's Pepsi. Merchant players love to tap out, it seems. I mean, they need to sometimes.
Not only that, I am happy to see Steam wins the RC bubble survival target. Do you upkeep draw? I'm not too happy to see that because that opening they can actually win with. They can raise you the DRC. Add Pepsi mode. Okay. Skill out for peers. I like skill. I like peers. Bless. TBH. I think I like peer. I, I have. I like skill more. Than peers. But I like a mix. To protect from Fury or EE. And for Pierce I can pay later in the game. If Pierce were white it would be easy. You think that it would be better? Alright, so we go uh, Sigada's 8 Colossus Hammer. Cast with 0 colors. I think that's not what they meant to do. So actually we do that. <laughs> we probably just do that. Well, no, I'll probably play Sanctifier, but... So I'm gonna have a mana up. But I think they meant to play Explosion on 1, not on 0. Yeah, they floated for Sentinel and they were like, wanted to play X1, but they played X0. But yeah, I, I think the white remand could be fine in Hammer. Maybe there's gonna be some more cards for Hammer in the set, but... We'll have to wait. Ooh. Well, we get to draw. <clears throat> it's not too bad. Yeah, Sam is pretty okay too. I think as a grindy option, like I could see playing one or two. Just not sure what attempting the ring does. No, I'm playing Hammer. Because I... My opponent's moves. It's kind of ironic that I drew Saga off of this draw set because they did draw, but... You want to play reality chip in the sideboard? Okay, I didn't vibe for me. Nice explosives, by the way. Nice moon against two planes. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Also with one island only. Hello, Mordechko. No, she's my duo funnel. Another cigar does aid. Okay. Can still win the match, bros. I don't know, it does feel like my... I don't know, my, it does feel like my merited opponent just like fall over on their faces a lot. I think like when you play against a strong one, it feels much tougher. Like when I played Blue Red myself against Hammer, it, you can like very easily... have draws or situations where you own them. Or... You know, it's kind of tough when they actually mulligan to a shredder on turn 2 or something like that. But when my opponent just takes random actions, which it seemed like, then it feels easy. I'm free, oh, actually. With hammer on e. You missed the 40 people Pioneer Challenge days. Yeah, I missed when the Pioneer Challenge didn't fire for a, for a month and then they banned Cathys and Inverter. To... To remedy that and then... It was so bad, such a bad decision. Crazy stuff. Imagine, imagine Pioneer if Inverter was legal. 
This is like the like you know super futuristic advanced city. That's fits, I think. And then the child just fired, right? They actually did fire for a few weeks. Inverted needed band. That's hate speech. They got 49% win rate. I nearly joined Pioneer, but Chad reminded me I might have to play against Lotus Field. Feels good, man. Yeah, it feels pretty good to play play against it. Time to look at Mechtech deck prices. All right, let's go. Genesel looks at prices. $1,041. That is 4,000 Zwotis almost. All over actually, I think dollar is over for now. Yeah, it's 4,500 Zwotis. Yeah, Pierre Dollar. DRC, five dollars. All right, that's like a strong and common, makes sense. Four Ragavan, 300 bucks. So that puts one Ragavan at 75 dollars. So 75 dollars. Translated to Zlotus, it's 326 Zlotus. Oh, kurva. I think I bought my Ragavans for like 200, 300 Zlotus. So I guess I bought them. Actually, I was at a paper event. There was a vendor stall and they had lots of cars to sell. And I couldn't bear the... Like, I was just getting sick thinking of, buy, of buying paper cards for so much buying a card for so much Lotus and I had to it was a two day even three day even actually from Friday till, till Sunday so I bought one Ragavan every day and that made me feel better because I only spent $75 on a card per day and not 300 on a play set when I had one from a booster pack or something. Are my paper dragons mismatched? No. <laughs> so yeah, that's a that's a strat if you if you if you want to buy you know something expensive, but 
let's just shredder 20 dollars per a shredder that's a significant amount but from the same guy yeah same same vendor what tofu nie gryź mnie Both shredders really they were cheaper than that. Magtide region 35, so it's relatively cheap. I guess it's a one deck card, no one else needs it, and Ragavan is wider. These prices look wrong. No, it's too much to check card market. Then polluted delta 160, flooded strand 17. Still, like those prices are inflated. Compared to card market. Post Pirate Black for seventy five dollars. Three steam vents for 50 per I thought steam vents was free after the last reprint, but I guess I was wrong. Can I see a like a long time graph of the prices? How expensive was it when this set was the current set? Was it like five bucks? So the sunetko tam koło kanistra. Że I am on vacation. Mam jakieś karty wystawione, ale nie chcę, żeby je ktoś je kupował. Mam ustawione od pięciu lat. Five year vacation on on Magic Card Market. So the spells are cheap. You really need to pay three dollars for four counter spells. Like, can't you? There's so many. I mean, if you have a shop, you probably can. If you have like a shop around you, you can probably get counter spells for free if you like are, just want any counter spells. Urza Saga. $35. Hmm. Price trend. So the Merktide is just Ragavans. How does it add to, to 1000 when it's just Ragavans? I guess Shredders. This. One Blood Moon, 10 bucks. Fury, 35. Salty, 10 bucks each. Two Hearses, 20 bucks. Flasters? What? That can't be right. <clears throat> I mean, it probably is right. Twenty dollars, Blaster Storm. Paid one hundred seventy for a Blaster, bro. I think you way overpaid for your cards. <laughs> I think you could have gotten them a bit cheaper. So could how much cheaper is this deck if you play Misty Rainforest and? Let's see Rainforest and Scalding Tarns, right? Oh, the Judge promised that, 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 okay. In that case, you have paid the appropriate price. Twenty dollars, so the, all the fetches cost the same. Scalding Tarn. 
twenty dollars. What is Marsh Floods? Marsh Floods is useless almost. Yeah, Marsh Floods is then. <clears throat> so it's 400 in the mana base. How many wish fakes will be at Barcelona? At the PT, I assume not many. Like, probably zero knowingly. Maybe not. I mean, Hammer was more funny because of the cards, but like it's just mana base that's expensive in those. Wish fakes. Well, you can buy proxies online if you look for them, which are decently disguised themselves as actual cards. Fury one forty, endurance forty dollars, fury thirty five dollars, to the ferry fifteen dollars per a copy, force of negotiation thirty dollars over thirty dollars per a copy. Violent outburst four bucks, it's a common. Four dollar common. I mean, could just maybe reprint that. Do you think they would reprint it as a common nowadays? For sure not, they would reprint it as an uncommon, at least. But would they have the balls to make it a rare? Yarn on spools, squeaky toys the squeaked, upholstery turned to shreds. It was carnage. They made fire ice rare. Yeah, but it's also not really rare. Because it actually like, doesn't have a rarity. Yeah, Mana Morphos was plenty of, plenty of money at some point. Mana Morphos. Four bucks now. Mishra's bubble. I remember I was buying Remans for 20 Lotus when I started playing and it was an insane price for me. How much is this? 1 out of 500 foil. Seven bucks for a call snap. Triumph of the Hordes. What the heck is that? What the fuck? Battle Royale! <laughs> Don't know how I got here, but I'll be the last one standing. Who's out there willing to pay 20 bucks for Triumph of the Hordes? Shadowborn Apostle. There's six of them in a in a secret letter drop. And the anime babe one is six hundred sixty eight bucks according to this. How rare is that? 
I guess if you want like 10,000 10, of this, if you want like 40 of the anime once, then I guess it's gonna cost you. And we can settle for an edgy what is this even like let's say edgy golf girl i'm not sure that's like an approximation of an edgy golf girl and you have 40 of those and you can only pay 100 for 114 for h what's happening here why seats What is he doing? It's not clear to me. Crazy shit, bros. This one looks like adventure time. This one is a school person. This one is a person. Explorer Anthology, how the how does acquiring those cards work on Arena? Do you actually have to to craft forty copies? But the normal one's not that expensive, I guess one dollar sixty seven. Need to craft four and then you can add any amount, okay, makes sense. Mosedju is 40 bucks, that is crazy. Leyland Binding is 10, that's not as crazy. One Ardent Player, five. Wow. What format do people play on Arena? I don't know, bro. I have not gone there. Gameson Caverns is 50, I have four of those for some reason. I bought them for some shit deck and probably never played them. Pass of Vigor 25. Okay, we're not learning anything. Let's check Omnath. 105... 1,500. Rent... $55. Omnath $10. Solitude $40. Will I be selling my PTJs? Probably I'll be trying to. Does anyone in the chat want to buy? I can sign it. I'll give you a hand sandwich for wit. No. Price trend 700. So I guess not many of those have sold here. It's anime art, never mind then. I want. Not even anime. It's not even anime. Should draw your facial hair on it and say it is you they modeled it off of for sure. You look at this and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna add this to my shopping cart. And this. 
Those don't interest me. Card 1800. Did everyone at the PT get one? Yeah. But you got a full one if you if you were top 16. And in Minneapolis, there is going to be the same thing. It's going to be Jace again. Alright, let's empty my card before I accidentally buy them, actually. I wish card market expanded to the US. Don't want to sell off to TCG player anymore. Then don't. Oh, Chalice of the Void is 55? 58? That is crazy. Wait, Free Well of Summer? Wait, did I read it right? Free Well of Summer 25? Was Well of Summer a COVID set? No reference? Probably will go down in price after Minneapolis then, probably. It's just a good car. Well, it's an uncommon though. And five dollars for an uncommon seems like a lot. This one is just ten. The dollar to euro's price are kind of scat in some cases. The the euro ones are real because it's because you have magic card market and people just put cards there and uh, a TCG player is not real because it's well I assume it doesn't work like that but maybe it does Two ephemerate six dollars. That sounds made up. I mean, you can, hmm. So we will list that a dollar. The buy non English one, so it's. Refraction. Off of Nessa five bucks, a drum is called ten. The prices are almost always higher than actual card value, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, it's all made up, chat. That feeling when Triad of the Lucian Grove is four times as expensive as Primeval Titan in the deck where Primeval Titan is the key creature. Why does this list have Rune Breaker of Silence? And Tyratax Rex, bro. This is the new card tax. Two Valakuch, 40 back. Okay. I see. Cavern is very expensive. Let's look at mail. Maybe there's some gems here. Four archive traps, 64. 
Two J super affected mind. Four hedron crab twenty eight. I assume the commons and commons are, are free, but there aren't, I guess, if they're old. Look at Mind Drake Trap. That card is zero because it's worthless. Wait, I have four listed? Have a place it listed to sell? For ten bucks? Take it down. I have not sold a card on the card market for years. Of course, who's playing? Bob the freaking dog. And Darston, but Bob the freaking dog. 30 bucks for a slightly different island, okay. Canister sells it for 13? Why would I sell it? Do I even have an Obora? Why would I have it listed? Buying now? No, no, I'm set to vacation mode. You can't buy from me. If you buy them, would you put your buff water into the package? Once again, I don't have a buff bath tub in my in my house. I only have a shower. So I cannot do that. Cannot access bath water. Mind break trap. Mind crash. Bro, so if someone is paying 20, 20 euros for a mind break trap, then they deserve it. They're asking for getting swindled. A used sock is okay too. Used for what, though? Take a buff in your kitchen sinks. It's too small. I won't fit. Buy a swimming pool. I wonder how much my boxes of cards are worth, bros. Kind of afraid to... I mean, I guess I'm not afraid to learn. Because it would be like, oh, that's neat. But I have boxes of cards behind me. And if I were to actually, you know, learn their price, then how much would that be? Probably a significant amount. Tasha's hideous laughter, five bucks, five two euros, two vision of beyond thirteen twenty. Is it time to sell the FBB duals? I don't know. I don't have any stuff like that. I only have new cards, but Let's check living end. Free living end is 17. 4 grief is 69. Nice. 1 Brazil bar over 10. Sunken ruins 18.72. Good price. 2 botanical sanctum 20. How much is the entirety of a Modern Horizons set worth? Can you check that? Modern Horizons 
to I think they had a function like that on Goldfish where you could just look up the entire set and see how much like all the cards in it are worth booster box sealed well that's a booster box 300 bucks for a booster box but how much is the set if I were to buy all the cards one each And their prices at the top. Okay, cards, prices. What is it? Quadrati. Where does it set? Was where does it tell me what's the price? It doesn't. I think there's a different view to see it set. All right, we found it on Goldfish. Modern Horizons, but I wanted to. Alright, let's check what's more horizons. So it's six hundred and forty one dollars for the entire set. One thousand three hundred forty nine euros, but less dollars. 1317 dollars for the entire set that times 4 to get play sets that's crazy I can't tell me what's the amount of mythics this way. Oh, come on, Bob the dog. How many, how many man hours have you stolen from the collective community of magic online players? Very uncommon to see Gab being one of the last to finish his game. Let's see if he reacts to my shit post. Can't be too greedy. 
It's not gonna react. It's too busy stealing man hours. The clock is a resource. Yeah, and like our time on Earth is also a resource. You die eventually. You can't play challenges afterwards. You can't even do anything else afterwards. Will I be in Prague? Yeah, I will be playing. Oh wow. It seems too hard to do it before blocks. Before them, but like for, for the opponent to do it before blocks seems wasteful. It should have waited till the family targets the witness, I think. I just win, says Gab with 1 minute 48. What's the red splash for? So what's the deal with the wall stack? Why else you like it so much? Why else you play walls so much? Crazy. Ending? Try to do anything. Because Arcadis is base, but does he actually play Arcadis? Well, I broke this by clicking the Stream Decker link. He does play free Arcadis the strategies, which has the old portrait frame version. Emrak. <laughs> yes, both Emrakul and Ulamog. It's not <laughs> That's funny. It's like, yeah, not today, male, not today. You can touch a seed is laughter one of them, but not the other.
Mill won the playoffs. I don't think everybody, I don't think that many people know that to copy Mill. But yeah. One minute, eight seconds. Time to start attacking with Ice Fangs, yeah. Two damage dealt. Not blinking solitude to exile grief. I guess you give for life. That's pretty rough. All right, he started turn at at zero eight, so he took ten seconds to deal two damage. So to deal fifteen more damage, he needs to do that eight more times. He won't get there. I ever it's fucking ephemerating here bro this is insane this is beyond the like constraints of of like a human <laughs> zero point two dps yeah you need to up your dps gab You need to help your DPS. Thirty seven seconds. Uh, he spent thirty seconds on dealing zero damage. Yo, canister, your stream needs a DPS matter, yeah. <laughs> DPS matter and magic. Pretty funny. Fifteen seconds. One second per damage. Two seconds, bro. Do you think he's gonna get there? <laughs> he moves the mouse like my dad when he doesn't wear glasses. Yeah. One second. Let's go. Oh. Oh, sharks. I timed out. <laughs> and he does that. He times out in the end. And he held the challenge hostage for... 10 minutes times 93 players. So I guess the opponent played. So 91 players times 10 minutes, which is 90 minutes. That's, that's just so many man hours. <laughs> 900 minutes. How much is a man hour worth? Minimum wage US at 7.25 per hour times 15. So Gab owes, owes us $108 at least. One hundred eight dollars and seventy seventy five cents. And that's just for one match, yeah. That's just for one match. 
The minimum wage in your state is fifteen dollars, so he owes you more. Yeah. True. True. We need to account for the local minimum wages too, and also that is assuming that minimum wage is what is what is owed. But honestly, the moral damages might be bigger. Kazuga, hide your hand, Mr. Streamer. I will not hide my hand for your enjoyment, but I know that Kazuga is one of my least favorite players, and there is a risk. Well, hand not good in the hammer mirror. Do you know who Kazuga is? Yes, Kazuga is a mono player. No attacks. Should I get Kaldra here? I think I get Kaldra. Kaldra is always bait. I don't know what that means, but yeah, sure. Spear lets you draw off Paladin. Okay, and Kaldra lets me put Kaldra into play. Deal 5 and then threaten 15. Nettlesis plus Shadow Spear seems like a powerful combination in the mirror. In what way? Nettlesis seems pretty heinous in the mirror, it's inefficient. You have to go to the toilet? Okay, I'll wait for you with my next play. Please message back when you... when you come back. On a board stall? There's no board stalls, really. <clears throat> How does a helter hold a hammer? Don't overthink it. Okay, I'm back. Shit, I forgot. Sorry, I made a few plays. You, sorry that you missed them. Maybe it holds it holds it with the wings. Hey, that's the deal. The Kadra says That was a weird play.
So I could technically die to a land to Hamas, but I probably will not. This is probably better. Why not Dink my Blast then? Not enough mana. Yeah. Well, I could have Dink my Blast 10 over this. I thought that the second hammer being accessible earlier is going to be bet better, but Ink Moth would have let me activate Dink Moth and then. and then go Kaldra hammer on Ink Moth and then that would kill my opponent. So I probably should have. Played Ink Move last turn, that's actually a good point. Spurpius looks super bad for me. It's gonna be so bad on the draw. Let's keep the two scales, you don't even need to fetch blue now. Caldra complete. I think opponent is bad. But my opponent plays Modo a lot and they're also renowned among Modo players as a person that is proud of the fact that they watch streamers when they play against streamers, when he plays against streamers. So I expect him to to watch my watch my hand too, I guess, at all times. But I don't know. Is Persennial is bad on the draw a little bit? No. It's just like one mana artifact creature at that text is okay. I disagree. I think the needle, like bringing in the needle for the mirror, that some, sounds so bad. Is Manriki the equipment destroyer good in the mirror? It seems slow, but I've seen it in a lot of less. I think I would rather have 4th of March. Also helps against any other saga deck a lot. Or maybe I would have a path, but I would not play Madriki Kusari, I think. It's a bit too too narrow. I just snap cape my hand, but it's actually not so good. TBH. Wasn't looking too much. He did fetch Hallowed Fountain, so he probably has spell pierce in. What do we play in Prague? This. You have beautiful eyes. Thanks, you too. Shouldn't have kept my hand. It's terrible. No blocks. Why do not block? What is your opinion about Core Outfitter and Steel Shaper's Gift? I think they're fine cards. Maybe I'll play them. One copy of each. I don't know, Vesa, Lujune, but I'm not sure if you're serious or joking, but I um, can't really help you in any case. Dangerous keep? No, no, not dangerous. Shit. I just kept a bad hand. Have I been to Prague before? I've been to Prague many times. Many times for a for a 
mostly for Magic the Gathering tournaments, one for a music concert. I think once for some other reason too, maybe not. I think it was mostly Magic tournaments. What do I think of the city? Oh, it seems like a nice city. But, I mean, I just play Magic there, so... Just see tournament halls. When has one card left? We draw a hammer, we can have some game. Ink Moth. Okay, I pass. Let's throw a hammer into hammer into shadow spear, please. It's also kind of fitting that Sigarda hands over a hammer out Sigarda's aid artwork. Let's go. Death. Well, maybe not death. No Manriki. I don't have Manriki Gusari. Manriki doesn't kill Kaldra, right? It is an indestructible equipment, so yeah, it does not help with that. Let's go. Okay. Bro, Svelli had a needle. Spelp is gonna be a bit better on the play. Seems like spell piece falls off quite quickly. No, I don't really want it. So I don't want any of my cards in my sideboards. We keep all pierces. Even on the draw, that sounds a bit crazy. Yeah, also my point is sniping, then Injuries 3 don't want to pierce. Well, it's 5 lander. If this, this was a saga of very marsh floods, then... Or flooded strand, then maybe. I think as this is a bit better. It's a bit too bad. Ah. It's no good either. I mean, even if I even even if I have a planes on top, the hand is not so good. Funny Stanford Mystic was a JVP and March was a Valorous stance, right? Yeah, in the standard.
You board very different than me, curious. Well, how do you board in the mirror? I'm guessing and also using a cyborg guide. Oh, yeah, Pierdole, no, nie, złe łapsko. I guess. No, I don't. How do you board, I ask? And then you say, no, I don't. You don't board. Sure, then thank you for your input. Save me, please. Oh, fuck off. You cut down zeros and cut two drums doesn't make sense to me. Your interaction is not well, it's not good enough to slow down your deck. Feels to me. I think it's better to do it in the upkeep. But like if spell people was actually good interaction, then sure, but zeros don't do a lot in the matchup, then why do you play them in your deck? In what matchup they do a lot? They don't do anything a lot in any matchup because what they do is not a lot. They do make the decks synergistic and fast. Which fastness seems solid and especially if they do play spring leaf drums themselves and they can just plunk your peers super easily. No place? What the heck? Ooh. I float one color less, yeah. Two fountains. Stress down for sure, yeah. To be very funny if they dress down me. But yeah, I don't like your plan. I'm sorry, bro. I think I'll just attack for 8 this turn, and next turn I put Caldera. Just to not get killed through a spell pierce, for no reason. Like, don't not get killed with spell pierce. But yeah, I'm happy to have drawn so many marches. I think marches excel in the mirror. Sun's Undertale is my favorite skeleton. Imagine if those marches were pierces and your zeros were marches, bro. 
Well, Pierce would suck, yeah. What'd you get? Hammer? I get Spell Pierce on Marsh Paladin. You have one blocker and die, that's true. They do get to draw a card otherwise. Did they play land? They played planes. If they draw a card, they could have draw a plane. They could draw a zero drop. I don't know, just whatever, I think. Spell piece plus zero could happen. That's like what could happen. But you could play through spell pierce. I guess if you have a removal spell now. If he has March. Then I will die. I don't think we could have done anything against that. All right. What did we keep again? Two March, two Lens Drum. Easy. Much better than Pierce. But I don't know, from like the games I played, if the games go past the first three turns, then you will not spell pierce anything, it feels like. And many of the strong cards are creatures anyways. Like all the expensive cards, which is two drops in this deck are Saga Saga Paladin spell pierce, you cannot pierce Saga Paladin Stoneforge and you can't spell pierce that. It just seems so bad to me. Like it's probably not so bad. Like you can you can do some stuff with spell pitch, but it seems like Caldra is one of the stronger things. Saga is one of the things that breaks the stalls if the game stalls and becomes low resource. And having removal for you know, people will keep hands that are fast and have one attempt at hammering. It's good to pierce marches, etc. Yeah, but I'd rather be the one marching than one piercing, and I don't want both marches and pierces. I guess I have four marches, you have less. If you have less, then you just want to keep some more interaction, maybe. I play four marches because I think they're great in the mirror. Is spells and a playable cyborg card to counter shredder, mirror, two drop, red and breach? It's probably okay to play. It's a bit weird for Hammer because it's not gonna, it's gonna not always gonna work that well. 
not always gonna line up and you kind of have to keep it up all the time but I could see playing one spell set I mean it's kind of funny spell set would be I think good in the middle you know counter the power two drops Da Vinci said that he brings out the zero drops, but I don't like that. Because that depends on what your core assumption is about the zero drops. Like, if you play them to make your deck fast, consistent, inherently having sense, then you, you keep that. You also march the hammer, definitely. But also another thing about about Manriki, I think Manriki was is just not fine right now because Kaldra just trumps Manriki and you have to fetch for Manriki over Kaldra. So it just seems like a tough sell for me to fetch over fetch for that over Kaldra. Seeing how how Kaldra is so great. And if you get Manriki and then your opponent fetches Kaldra, they also counter you fully. You have a shitty Manriki, they have a Kaldra. And the Manriki doesn't do anything. So maybe Manriki Gusari was okay in pre caldra days, but I think it's un unacceptable right now. It seems to me. So I guess that's what High Aware Might is interesting at doing. It can hit the Caldra off of your Saga. Could maybe play Hayward Might without a green source in the sideboard. Without a Temple Garden, just play it off the drums. I don't know, that's good. You can prioritize Kaldra still, but with March you want something else. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be okay in some games. Yeah, that game spot doesn't look too good to me. Everyone who has cited in Manriki Gusari in the history of magic has been having extreme copi amounts of copium about its power level. It isn't good and it never has been. Wow. Well, that's a strong statement. But also, honestly, maybe. I literally soloed the mirror yesterday. Yeah, well, it is capable of, of winning, certainly, but... Take a bathroom break and I'll make you watch the Yu-Gi-Oh cards video and the documentary in the between in the meantime. We stopped around here.
This is not Bob the dog. So he defeated the cancer, right? And he lives. Grading doesn't matter at all on a one of one. I mean, it's not the only Yu Gi Oh card, though, right? So there's other Yu Gi Oh cards that you can compare it as fade it is into. Which. I don't know, it seems like it would matter to me, but... If you say so, you're probably right. Point of grading is to say that my copy is better than your copy. Well... But you also can... I don't know, there is like a, an ideal new Yu-Gi-Oh card, right? That you can compare to, so you... Might want to know what's the state the card is in if you like are about to pay thousands of dollars for it. So uh, it sounds plausible to me that if a card was a seven out of ten and not a ten out of ten, then I would want to pay less for it. How solo? Let's say one of one. Well, it's damaged, so I would like to pay less. I don't know what, why it's that's like so weird. Damage or flood in some way or... Ja, glaube ich, habe ja den Gewerkschul. Oh, da ist ein kurzer feiner Utfuhr. So you sell it, buyer gets it and it's damaged once a refund. Yeah. So probably grade it first. Sounds better. A który nie jest? Stonerki. Stonerki to jest taki cyf. Taki szajs. Anyways, it's obviously clear to me that you have a perfectly mint card to compare to and if you buy an item for thousands, you would like to know exactly what state the item is in. I like MTG as a game, but I don't understand chasing 100 plus dollar cards. Thankfully, Ragavan is only $75. So, it is acceptable. It's like a perfectly sane, reasonable price for a card.
as restart mode because it's clearly suffocating. Hello canister, hello Mario B B Brega He's a phenomenal control player Messeren, thank you very much for your Prime Gaming subscription Bros, I hate that I made it Uropog and Uro is not capitalized, but Uropogress is capitalized. We have to change it. We are 4 0 in the challenge, so we are winning. I just had a new emote. I don't know if I can change the name of, of an emote. Oh, I can change it. Okay. Now it's Uro Poggers. So it's Kurva. Nie działa. Are Sunday challenges softer? Easier than Saturday ones, maybe. Zerk wins them all the time, so probably. I think I do better than them too. You do better because it's earlier maybe. I play better if I start at 1 p.m. than 5 p.m. Interesting. I never thought of that. I... I... It's rarer for me to double queue on sat Sundays. Because the tournaments don't overlap as much. I think that's more of a reason. Do you or my GF spoil the cats the most? We have broken up, so I live with my cats alone right now so i'm the only one spoiling so the answer is gonna be me but i think i'm a little bit fir firmer 
at keeping the like not falling for their bullshit and not overfeeding them when they when they scream which is not to say they starve since since we are not together because they don't starve but they don't no 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 when will you buy a pet mic for your cars why do i need a pet mic will i play the legacy challenge in 27 minutes no what i didn't know you are you okay yeah i'm perfectly okay it was like a peaceful parting just decided not to live together anymore well if i buy a mic just specifically for them and i won't use it they they just won't be interested in it did i keep the dog no kasha took the dog kasha took kulak i was left with the cats Who will cannibalize the other cat if they both were starving? I think Tofu is stronger, slightly bigger. Not much, but like slightly bigger. And he certainly has a more dominating personality. Whenever I play with them, Tofu is the one jumping, pouncing at the toys, jumping into the air and doing stuff. Well, Buka is kind of watching from the sidelines, and I feel like she would like to play too, but she's kind of shy. Or like afraid of Tofu, dominated by Tofu a little bit. Which is kind of awkward, but... That's how it is. But sometimes, sometimes they like fight or pretend fight, and sometimes Buka ambushes Tofu and just punches him from like you know he just kind of sleeps or lays down and Buka comes and from from a shelf above and just kind of punches him with with her hand just kind of funny to see always i thought thought one cat that is very treat motivated to sit and shake boss on command damn They saw flooded strands. I've also been told that allegedly cats mimic human behaviors to an extent sometimes when they like spend all the time all the time with you they so they want to buy the mic because i'm speaking into the mic for the entire time i'm not sure that is true though oh wow turn to iteration you are all set up for minneapolis yeah i have my my flights and travel booked And that's why they also want to lay on your keyboard because you're like typing on it, but I'm not sure if that's true. And now she wants to bite me. What for? I don't know. They excel a fiery islet, okay. Get hammer and pass. Bold, okay.
Have I ever had double A situations come up? I think so. Like, I'm aware of the interaction. I'm not sure if I had it come up in a game. I think I did. Yesterday, yeah, I think yesterday I had level 8 and like equip two creatures with a hammer. Come up against blue red. Thinking of end of turn casting a hammer on my guy. Oh, tap that mana. Yes, yes, tap it. Shadow Spear first to test the water. That sounds worse than not Shadow Spear. Because they can still kill the guy with the Shadow Spear on. Spear will just resolve, yeah. I mean, it is a bit tricky. But if I play Colossus Hammer now, they could just solve it with a removal spell. I don't like that. Maybe I should play Shadow Spear and attack them for two lifelink. They need free removal, no? No, they need one counter spell. It's the problem. So what's the upside of playing out the Shadow Spear? They have bolt counter spelled and what I would like to do is I would Then play Paladin, play Shadow Spear, play Hammer. I think that's weaker than play Paladin. Draw, if I draw land, draw, play Paladin, activate Ink Moth, then I can actually kill. Yeah, I'll play the Shadow Spear because it changes the like. It changes the ball from my court to my opponent's court. Oh, snap fetching. Right, so let's play Sentinel then. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to get my hammer spell pierced. There's no way I want to do that. I think I'm fine attacking with lifelink now.
Because now, if nothing happens, I'm fine. Because they still have to do a thing. Merta is a bit rough. Here I think I will play Hammer because that does if they counter spell, they can't peer. So they bolt, that's fine. If they counter spell, that's fine. Did you fuck up last there? No, I did not fuck up anything. Why why would you say I fuck up fucked up anything? I'd like we are looking to draw something good because They do have stuff, but... What do you meant to play Paladin after Sentine? I don't think so, because it just... Doesn't seem so good. They had three mana, so if they counterspell, I could play Hammer. Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah, I guess that might be true. Don't play hammer. Sure. I mean chat is gonna like tell me five things and they don't all have the reasons. Pauline is not very threatening with two aids on board. Yeah, they could just let the paladin go. Depends what they would actually do though, but but they could. It seems like we're gonna lose though now. That turn two iteration was real good for them for setting up a clock. Yeah, that ended up being pretty good. Siedem, osiem, dziewięć, jedenaście. Osiem, dziewięć. Chad, I'm literally not dead. To any cards. No, I'm not dead to counter spell. 
I'm literally alive to counter spells and Raga Vans. And they won't have balls to play Unholy Heats either. Maybe should have put the Shadow Speed on Sentinel. Dead to ball. Well, no shit, bro. That's the nature of Blighting Bolt. You're dead. You're dead to it. Well, can you counter an ornithopter, huh? Also, how did this end up on the battlefield? How do people just play out their Otawaras randomly? It's just so good in hand. Damn, they actually can. It's a game winning counter spell ornithopter. You win, bro. Okay, congrats. They are not focused gamers, yeah. Czemu jako rzechy on te pieniądze zbiera? Pro using Adeli mode. Give me link. Wiewiór, but that's just, I don't know, that's a stretch. So I am not Ludzie. To me, Sigma finite is X equals countable union of measurables with finite measures each. Well put. Very well put. This is gonna be an emote that nobody ever uses. Also, you can't see shit. Yeah, 7TV is the future, I guess. You can have all the emotes at the same time. Morda. Keep. Imagine if this was Skrelf. Well, this seems good with protection. What if it was Skrelf? It would seem a bit worse, I guess. Just that people were talking about Skrelv in the Discord. Dawaj kurwa, kraj se spele. No, not these spells though. Not like this one. It's fine, it's fine though. Now I think I'll play an aid instead of 
making a construct here. If the E on one, that blows me a little bit. But not that much. Sort of white white spells with one planes. One of my lands dies into a spring leaf drum if I want it to, so it's fine. So if they E on one, we draw a card and we they that lose the the RC, it's not too bad. I was confusing Sig Ligma Finite with Finite, damn. How do you feel about Mini Bata's Mono White Hammer list? You need to link the list to me. I will not tell you anything about Mini Bata's Mono White Hammer list. I don't know Mini Bata. I don't know of Mini Bata. I don't know the list. I don't know if they are successful with it. I don't know anything about that person. Neil for EE from Saga. Not even sure that's the best move. In fact, I think it's Hammer. What do I know exactly? Maybe it is Needle, but that's like a little bit of a bitch move. I mean, we draw a card, it's fine. That might be EE. How do I feel about Spay 40 Summer list, list? I don't. No, they have the EE. Bro, fuck off. Why you got to be so lucky? Why we are so fortunate? It's insane. It's crazy. How do I feel about Ligma find the measurements? They're fine, yeah. What's Chuba Nima Clienta? No, yeah, no, yes, no. So then what is Robert Chuba? Bez stworów, bez metalcrafta, bez many. They connived an E. Are you losing to Magtide? Wait, what? I mean, it's yes. I lost to Magtide yesterday too. I said they always have it. Sure, but if they have the explosives and I don't go for the hammer, I, d I don't put any pre kind of pressure on them either. And I have nothing good to show. So... Going for a needle is a, is a loser's mindset. Yet to knife. You don't need to pressure them. Well, if I don't need to pressure them, then sure. You're in the control temporal. Oh yeah, the well-known control temporal. I 
There is a ledger shell in play. I do need to to do stuff. Every time I've got a kneel from the Merktaid side, it felt hard to beat. Well, it is hard to beat, but my point had the fucking Ledger Shatter in play already, and a, and a DRC. They had up to easily 5-6 damage in the air per turn. Oh, you don't need to rush, you well, they just take 6 damage per turn. Yeah, bro. Why not? Oh, you don't need to pressure them, they'll just cast iteration. Have delirium with this in play, sad. Is Shredder so good against Hammer? Yeah, Shredder is the one of the best cards in the matchup, I think. No shredder. Free E, by the way, damn. I'm not sure if they were supposed to do that, but... Should have controlled that tempo bros and you wouldn't have drawn them free ease, yeah. I mean yeah the thing with needle, if they have a schleder in play, then you can also draw they can also ditch the e extra E's. So you don't even hurt them that much in the long run. And you play out a Otawara again? Why do you do this? How is it worth to play an Otawara in this spot? How come it's like... the correct move to play an Otawara? I don't like, if you want to cycle this, cycle your treasure, whatever, right? This is just so much better. In your hand. If you want to cast counter spell, you can. You have Archmage's Charm? But even that doesn't make too much sense. Okay, so now we have no cards in hand instead of having a bounce spell to be secure from literally everything. Survive's to the top anyway, so. He played pretty well outside of the other water thing, I think. Yeah, yeah. Treasure is better than a bounce spell, okay. If you think so. But I had like four people play Ottawara. In a situation where it seemed absolutely horrid against me. Let's say draw. <laughs> nice and holy hit, bro. Triton is a very good Spanish player, TBF. Okay, so your very good Spanish player, TBF, made such a heinous play that he threw me off and I, and I got maddened. Lost all my composure. I 
If it was possible, I would like to replay the game and see what happens if I do needle the explosives. But I think I lose, and seeing the cards I drawn, I wouldn't have done anything of substance. I wouldn't mind having removal for Shredder, that I could cyborg in. The problem is that there is no good options. Unless you go on thin ice and mono white. Like I really would like to have on thin ice, but I, I think path is too bad. I really like on thin ice, it's really, it's really tough against explosives. Solid too. Solid too is not a good answer to share there. It just, like answers it that doesn't answer it well. Smiting ending is too much mana. Portable hole. Portable is like weaker, aren't they? Nice. Puff is okay, but playing it early is a bit bad. Lay down the arms. Lay down arms. Two mana answers too much. I think it would need to be a one mana answer to be really like exciting. Anthony nice is great, but needs to be mono white. This patch, this patch is too unreliable. After a spell, my thing would be very good. Mm. It's interesting. I don't think so, though. Oust. I mean, it's probably probably one path. Mosani requested a grand song. This is not a grand song. Rose, don't you know what's Grand Songs? It says so in the description. Why nobody reads the description? I mean, I wouldn't either myself, but... Sure, I just overpaid, that's fine. Yeah, Grand Magnol has been wiped from YouTube. Why not Path to Exile? Path is a default option, yeah, but it's not excellent at answering an early shredder because they get an extra land. Suspend? <laughs> This is a funny card. Excalibur Symphonic Ending? What is Excalibur? What do I think about Solitude? Seems heinous. 
You're never gonna have five mana to cast it, so why play it? It didn't seem that hard to pull. I'm not sure what we're watching here. That's basically Frodo and Mount Doom. Maybe just play Sophie instead of Cyst. Well, I was thinking about that, but that does not have anything to do with Shredder. I was considering that. He didn't actually cast it. Both are cringe, damn. Don't cut your fingers. What's that? Lady of the Lake. That's <laughs> so funny in some way. Damn. Nicole Williamson. Funny how Wagner knew 100 years before this movie how to synchronize his music with the acting. I think they did it the other way around. Amazing how far movies have come since 1981, while magic has been shit since 1993. <laughs> Funny comment. The king will come. That said, I'll try to make space for one path. 
to pop the shredder sometimes, give me some game in that sense. If I played mono white, I would play on thin ice. On thin ice can be really weak against explosives, so you need to fetch your needle more often. Puff is also good against jog mods. Yeah, I like one path. Would I define myself as old use? Uh, Bob the dog in game two only. Yeah, yeah, bring puffs against jog moths. I think that's not good. I guess Yagma has an ETP. I think Wild is fine. I wouldn't want to play more many more. Minding my own business. <laughs> Came to red clock. Have I ever cast Orvar in this deck? I don't think I did. This is a game I had. Caldra is not even that good against Yogg. How is it not good? In my experience, when I played that matchup, Caldra. I had Mana Leak, so it was just a one card plan, Stone Fortune, then Mana Leak their play, win. <sighs> if you will face Gabba the Pro will you kindly ask him to play fast? I probably should, yeah. Well, I know. I can't predict the future. I'll, if I remember, I will. I'm mining. Should I play Fossies in the creativity sideboard? I don't mind one or two Fossies. Any more than that, you'll lose too many life points. Also, who came up with Jack plugs? Because there's no way the Jack Jacks don't get fucked a little bit over time. In my experience, they always get a bit damage over time, and they like stop working properly after a year or so. How can his wall deck beat the awesome power of four dwarves? Yeah.
I have no idea why he has two Eldrazi's, it's kinda cra crazy for me. I really don't like being reactive as the Cascade decks. Yeah, I think it's really nice to have a few thought seasons you can check their hand. Gives you so much more value. What would you possibly want the Dalkan Plotter against? It's a land deck. Like I've seen Gab play the Dalkan Plotter against Throne and he barely won thanks to it, but it seemed really poor. I'll try a few copies since I think Moonlight is copy when too many flasters and pieces are awkward, yeah. I think it's important to have your interaction be spread among different mana colors and creativity to make your mana base actually work. Look at Gab just snap keeping the sand. No, Moon, okay. Crazy. Moving a hand like this. Three minutes. One damage secured. One damage not secured.
Star prediction. Will gap time out? Yes or no? You have one minute to vote. Have I ever been introduced to music? I actually enjoyed Fruit Witch Chat music request. Yes. When I like a song, I click, I add it to the channel playlist, which is like what plays randomly song from this place when. Hmm. When the song is empty. I don't know if I can link it to you. But there is a channel playlist. Do you think he does it deliberately to taunt us? Yeah. If he loses before he times out, he does not time out. Arcade is oh shit, you can attack for eight. Oh shit. Gonna get there. How many hours on MTG player life has Gap stolen by being last in rounds? We have calculated that he owes the challenge players one hundred eight dollars for the for the last round where he timed out, going by a U.S. minimum wage and I don't know which state seven point five dollars per hour. Is Gap the fastest player in an alternate universe? Yeah. Is he last again, lol? Let's check. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, world if Gap doesn't play challenges. Would be also a much faster world for sure. No versus yellow hat, oh, that would be a fight. Should get a brush to groom my cats. I don't have any kind of brush to do so right now. I wish Moda would tell you how much time you use per match on average. I wish it wouldn't tell you, but it would tell your opponent. X4, they target a treasure? It's the fourth one. Oh, Arcatis is a target too. <laughs> oh, snap. Damn, that's smart. It's actually a good play. Fifty seconds, but he needs to find any extra source of power. He doesn't win anymore, he doesn't have any power. And Soldier is plus six life. Ah, do you really want to do it? Six life. 
No, no, no power. No! Well, it's too, too late now. Well, is it 26 seconds? Damn. All right, do you have another creativity? Star Chef Brief X. If you do, I like your chances. Oh, seems like they might have another one. Creativity targeting Arcades Reflection Dwarf. Have one minute too. He does have to fight. Eh? Yeah, but what does that help with? Creativity is gonna target Arcades. Ay, 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 Gabriel. <laughs> Discard the card. No, no, changing their faces. All right, 17 seconds. Oh, the savage went to discard 14. Oi, oi, oi. Even with an Arcadi's top deck. Six seconds. All right. Manage prediction. Choose outcome. Yes. The game has ended. Yes. Close one. It was actually kind of close at the time, but the opponent had second creativity to save the day. Wow, the round ended, yeah. Two hundred bucks now. For the model. Modo Union. He lost to Clock, but would have lost the game anyway. Yeah, that's true. I mean, not necessarily, but most likely. Could bounce your own soul to replay it. Canister, I wonder if it's generally worth to play an Emrakul and sideboard just for the mill matchup. I am not sure if that matchup justifies such a specific sideboard card. Well, it's a pretty strong tool versus mill if you end up playing against it, but you will play against it rarely, so. And for the most part, it's not worth, because you're going to play against a fraction of a mill deck per challenge, but per a tournament, but... You think you might play against a slightly higher fraction, then yeah. Will you be in Prague? I will be in Prague, yes. I'll be playing. Uh, on the draw. <clears throat> Ragdos midrange one day ago. Alright, I guess I'll keep. Oh, I need to see this. Imagine this being a mem knight. Yeah, that's why I play more mem knights than I do ornithopters. Some people play four ornithopters. I really dislike that.
Ha, oh, man. That's not too bad. Imagine then having rank 6. Yeah, exactly. That's why I play two through two split. Ooh, no kill. Imagine if this being Hammer of Bogarden. That would be crazy. Imagine them running Memnite not Sentinel and let you draw a guard. Yeah, bro, just imagine. Discard Feign, Death, and Duffy Voidwalker, okay. <laughs> Checkmate. Imagine being in Nettlesis. I wouldn't mind a Nettlesis now. I'm not sure I should play second Paladin here. They drew two new cards. It's gonna be a shame if they fury. They also have this kind of deck. So let's hope they don't draw Fury because my winner against Fury seems low anyways. Nice Panther. Yeah, she's pretty nice. Tiger and Panther, I guess. Last match against what deck I played was Blue Red Merktite. Lamao, Ocean Soul is still posting about how Delver sucks, some things never change. Literally, who? No kurwa mać, no, mógłbym dobrać jakieś spela. Jednego chociaż. Could attack with Wink Moth to gain two. Seems relatively free. I technically Paladin with this is slightly better against Fury, but I didn't have Fury. And it's not even fully true because I get to block Terminate on it up there, nice. Does that mean Fury and 5 mana? Like trying to get to 5 mana? I regret attacking now, I guess. Paladin. Please don't have the Fury. Oh yeah, Foss sees me, sure. Castle, okay. Okay. No, Holipka. I think I'm gonna trade with the Ragavan.
Have I Grifa? Nice. Maybe I will regret not hitting for two poison. Here, if I had more silent clearings, I'd be in a better spot. I guess I'll thin. Why does grief not attack? Mashtuchka żywej on some. Then why doesn't Season Pyro attack? Play mono white next week. Well, I play mono white too. This could be Fury too. This may like not block, I guess. But I kind of understand why this doesn't attack. But the like Exile Hammer for sure. Blacksmith skill, okay. You can hard cast Kadra if we draw it, yeah. Bro, keep pot seizing. Rewarded for not playing out my land, I guess. Alright, I had the fury, good. Hand was known in for two. No, 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 he didn't know about Seacrum Coast. Hammer! No do kurwy, no, jebane śmiecio deck, same mem nighty, jakieś inne gówna są tutaj w tym decku, no. Nic dobrego nie ma. Nic fajnego się nie zdarzy. These spots are why I wanted to play reality cheap. All right, what would it change? Would you play it over Seacrum Coast? Plains Brothers War? Plains 8th Edition? Plains uh, Mirrodin versus New Phyrexia? Plains all Phy New Phyrexia all will be one? Hallowed Fountain? Ink of Nexus number three? The second Springleaf Drum or the third Cigarda Zaid? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Seems like a free block. Right, they don't have deal 2 damage effects. Or deal 1 damage. It's always deal 3 or more. 
<clears throat> How do you know that this Nexus number three? Well, that as an example only. Spike field. I guess spike field is not unheard of, but might be just on the Ragavan wanting to deal damage. Block Fury? Why would I block Fury? I mean, I guess I missed a poison attack earlier in the game. Maybe I was a mistake. So we might actually win next turn if they still don't have anything. <clears throat> Land, okay. Sure. I guess we win. The argument for blocking fury is that you might not get a chance to block in the future? Bros, I won this game. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'm here b mouthing over my draws and they just die to five attacks of Wink of Nexus. I even missed one because I was like, yeah, there's no way I would poison them the normal way, but... I guess there was a way. He's a phenomenal control player. Thank you for the subs, bros. Nice hand. I'll go out on a limb and say Sanctifier should be good here, yeah. Is Lavinia not good? No. She's blue, I want to fetch planes because of Blood Moon. And it doesn't do anything. How do you deal 6 damage next turn? And I was poisoning them with Income of Nexus with plus 1. I'm surprised Red Dex Coven adopted cause Dex Return for Sanctifier. It doesn't even seem that good. So I'm not surprised they don't want to play that. Yeah, they all use explosives and then get Castino, then they die. But I think you'd probably better off having like explosives and hit that Sugu, or explosives and... Explosives and... Uh, I don't know, Colagans command or just any other shatter for the needle and then you just use the explosives, that seems good to me. And Codex Return seems not better than that. If you had blocked the turn you didn't and not drawn Gingerbread, you would have still beaten a Fury. Yeah. Good thing I did. Clearing or Saga? Why do they still have Voidwalker? Well, Voidwalker is... I was keeping Voidwalker when I was playing Scam in this matchup too. And that's like the only way to race through Sanctifiers, so seemed good to me. 
It's free damage per turn. Makes the hammer player die eventually. Saga Stoneforge Giver, that's terrible. Into Fury. I want to play Stoneforge with Blacksmith skill. Get Kaldra. How do I like clearing so far? It's fine. It's better than Mono White. Well, I want the construct of my Stoneforge ends up dying because then I, my one is a bit wasted. Well, I think we can we can do this. Caldra is dangerous. Yeah, dangerous for them. And Buffy on board. I guess. It's kind of true. Do I have an answer for the Blood Moon? No. Kaldra looks like Bionicle. Yeah, Kaldra looks like Mask of Light. You can't really answer Kaldra though. Once it's in play and they stock list, they just don't have ways to do so. Yeah, that's so good, does, right? No, it's indestructible. Indestructible, indestructible. Doesn't hit it to exile, no. It destroys. Sure. Pop of Peril destroys. Not a bad draw. They are just called to Kaldra, as somebody in the chat said. If they steal Shadow Spear from my deck with Ragavan, they can use Shadow Spear's activated ability, not the equip one. The get rid of Hextruf and Indestructible one, and then cast, for example, a Fatal Push on my Garam token, or kill my Kaldra. So there are options for that. Typical game state. Scum sometimes has addicts. Yeah, yeah, that's true. If they have shoulder it's addict, they can actually make you sacrifice a token, that can kind of work. A friend is playing a dead gun in Scum over one terminate, which just has been okay too, that would work too, yeah. I agree on turn to land, wouldn't be able to use Saga anyway. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's it might have still been Saga. Because uh, Ideally I untap with Kaldra with Saga. Excuse me, I, I ideally unta I untap with Stoneforge with the protection spell. And I get to you know deploy Kaldra. But if they thought sees my Kaldra 
or if they kill my stone for through the protection, which they can very plausibly do, then I would like to. I would like to make a construct because that was my other best way to spend mana on that turn. So maybe I was supposed to play Saga still. TBH. Because assuming if Kaldra is unanswerable for them, we can assume that I'm going to win if I get a Kaldra into play. So then I don't need the construct making ability. And I'll manage without it. Can we watch Dingo? No, Gab is thinking really hard here. What do you think of core duelist? Is it too junky to be even considered? It's too junky, yeah. It's a double striker, right? I don't think it can ever make the cut above giver. Am I spinning my card? Actually, there is no card in the chair. I'm just spinning the chair for fun. What about Seal Shaper's Gift? I think it's fine. And it kind of competes with slots for for slots with like nettlesis and similar but at the same time if i were to cut nettlesis then i don't then i won't see shaper's grave gift less right so that's a bit weird jump it's the new goblin warrior something for pioneer bonk i don't know what's the new goblin warrior Think this instead of Ornithop there, interesting. Yeah, I mean I don't know. Five zeros. I I I don't know. I wouldn't say I was feeling like I had too few. Too too many zeros. I kinda of vibe with five. It's really hard to 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 you know have say in an informed way if you want to be playing like four zeros or five zeros six zeros maybe Only one giver is also weird. It's so good in many matchups. Uh, I mean, I didn't have an experience of giver being overwhelmingly all that good, but I could play the second one too. I think it's filler. Six, seven, zero drops is just also like a lot because at some point you just have too much trash in your deck. So, I don't know, for me, five felt okay. I tried playing four drums, but when you sideboard out the the monsters, then it's a bit bit too hard to actually do. Yeah, well, when you had Lurus, you had a mana sink every game in your deck, right? Yeah, it makes makes sense. Some of these decisions only have a very marginal effect on win rate. Yeah, exactly. I think the, you know, the, like everybody plays the core in Hammer, right? Which is just, you know, like those cards. And let's say like four zeros, whatever. And then if you only ever drew those cards, then you'd be fine. And the rest of cards in your deck are kind of filler. The drums probably good too. So yeah, we have like 10 cards that are just filler to me that I would prefer not to draw for the most part. It's 
So I think Hammer would be a good good amount better if you could play 50 card deck, yeah. I think Kaldra in the main pile. Yeah. I mean... Change Blood is not filler too. It's filler. It's for sure filler. Some people don't play Ginger Blood, some people don't play Kaldra. So good in the mirror and versus Yoga and Amulet. No, it's I mean it's yeah, it's a useful card with useful you like with real use cases. But I think if they let me play a 50 card deck on the condition I cut Kaldra and Gingerbrood, then I think I should I should agree for that. Also had and had Ginger Root come up in the mirror as a very important card. March on the other hand. They can so easily kill you through it. I think he used the Ginger Root to attack them and not to survive. <laughs> Is Gameless Hammer good, can he? I don't know what's that. Kaldra could be sideboard, she's useless in exile heavy matchups. I don't even agree with that. What is an exile heavy matchup? And what if you're playing a... Like, do you mean like a solid to ley line binding elemental stack? I don't even think Kaldra is useless there. Yeah, Kaldra is not so good against Amulet because it's... All about speed there. More so about speed. All the resiliency to Bosejo can be nice. Also like how even if your opponent's playing it a fairy deck they can bounce the germ, then Kaldra sticks on the battlefield and every paladin is a haste threat then. Who attacks for 7 or 17 damage. So I don't mind Kaldra against Solitude, like Exile heavy matchups, honestly. Crusher bot BG is playing a mono white version of this deck and is also playing mana types in his build, but mana type does not convince me on the on the look of it. On the surface. Patrick Wu versus Nathaniel Putin. Quite a lot of success with Leon Sash in that slot. Interesting. They have many ways to kill Sunforge Mystic too, so you could just end up with Kaldra second hand. That's true, but it's not relevant. It's not because of the exile heavy. It's like just the heaviness of like that saying is true versus Merktide, right? It didn't say a lot, just success with Leon Sash. It could be that Leon Sash is better than Nettlesis.
Lyon Sash. Is this his graveyard? The protocol and the upgrade? What are those cards doing on the middle of the table? Who is the best magic player of all time? Sometimes people ask, I don't know. Uh, John Star? No. Owen Turtenwald? Probably not. Alex Schwarzman? Who? Yep, bad versus blue red color. I see deadly threat. Where versus blue white four color. She's way less deadly. My point is that, yeah. Well, that's fine. Like I like going. Often I like going turn to saga stone forge get a caldra, and then my opponent. Is most likely not capable of answering both of my things. from the Kai Buddha era. Probably washed up then, by now. I'm not sure if Kai Buddha's success from early in the game translates too much into, into nowadays environment, either. Aspiring Spike because he doesn't net deck like the other supposed best players, true. What's your unbiased opinion on it? Do you have a favorite? Well, I can't have an unbiased opinion. How can I have an unbiased opinion? I am a human, after all. Kai still wins a lot, wasn't he in the MPL? He was in Rivals. I think PV is the GOAT. I don't know, I still could, didn't get over the fact that PV made me play that shitty mono white deck in one of the MPL weekends. And I say that PV made me play it, which of course I myself registered it, but he was a big fan of that deck and... He was saying, yeah, we should play it, it beats everything. Canister, do you think objective reality exists? I think it does exist. Can't know for sure, though. Crocus was also in the rivals. Crocus was never was never in the rivals. So, you know, we're making stuff up. I meant biased, actually. Okay, you want a biased opinion. The players I tend to have the most respect for are the players that I play against on model a lot. And they always beat me. And they look scary when they do so. But that's just because I have like personal experience with them. Like who? When I started playing, I was thinking that the best players in the... In, when I started playing mod a lot, I thought the best... People on mod who were beating me the most was Butakov and Jabberwocky. Those were the, the ones that whooped me a lot. So I, I learned to dread the nicknames when, I, when I've seen them. 
And they tended to always have everything, and I learned that they just conserve their resources and not play their cards immediately, and that was a pretty big uh, lesson to learn. I think now you realize you're probably better than them, though. Well, I mean, I'm not sure, maybe in some aspects. At 9 a.m. at the hotel, he was drinking beer. I asked him, wow, drinking beer so early? He replied, yeah, they didn't have any vodka. Does that make you think higher or lower of his magic capabilities? Thoughts on Canadian magic players spill the tea? I have no thoughts on Canadian magic players much. I did learn to... to... ignore... Gameplay opinions from people heavily associated with the American circuits, like not PT players, but the local American circuit, something, SEG, RNG grinders. And I I take a huge grain of salt with with their when I see their opinions, and I try not to get. Uh, not to believe them too hard because I think they trapped me many times already. What do you see, Band Yuren? Because RNG opinions, yeah. Surely, if you'd ask them, they would be also like, yeah, inverter band was correct and good. RCQ bosses, yeah, RCQ bosses, that's a that's a good term. Never listen to RCQ bosses, bros. During the MPL and Rivals, wasn't people randomly invited to the PT or whatever sort of PT was at that time? There were tournaments called Mythic Championships, which were fairly exclusive. They were played on Arena, and yes, they had random invitations. Uh, so yeah, you could get a discretionary invite and Crocky's got a discretionary invite for one of those tournaments and dropped after failing spectacularly day one. I don't know, Wizard Robin Hat. Yellow Hat looks so interesting in the gameplay, yeah. I believe Kai was on the same boat. I think Kai was, in, was discretionary invite to at least one of those tournaments and then later got into Rivals. That's happened for sure because he was in Rivals. Later, when Rivals started to exist. Right, if we win the last one, we top 8. If we lose the last one, we may be top 8. So, let's go, bros. One more match. I'm going to grab a cup of tea before the last round. Oh, now we've got... They didn't invite players that had quit magic, did they? Have I played versus Sky? If so, did I win? Hmm. You know, I don't remember playing against Sky ever. I was supposed to make a tea out. Look at that later.
name the card with the walkie art of a mime and a blindfolded deer human on a seesaw. Solid. Twenty twenty mythic invitational round three easily won two zero against Sky Buddha. This was an historic arena only tournament, I think. How good is Urza Saga? Oh, last scene with Simic Hardened Scales. I think I should mold this end. I don't think it's good enough to hold this, to carry this end. Uh. Well. Oh, well, that's nice vibe. I have to put back a card. I think we put back Esper Sentinel. Yeah, I guess. Point moves to five? No, I moved to five. They kept seven. Grove the Burn Willows, they didn't lie. This is actually hard in scales. Cash the Rucht of Spoon and move. Oh no, Haywire might come on. Is that top 8? No, this last round of the Swiss. Then Trevor Top will be in a void. I have to play the 8 though. Mm, no killing. Ooh, proactively firing it off, damn. Makes sense. Don't think there's a reason to play the hammer. Ozolif, okay. Ravager, scary. Tylko o jedno. Chodzi tylko o jedno. No nie wiem o co im chodzi. Ja się zastanawiam. Why not attack? Yeah, I could have. I guess. Is she drinking Bacardi? She wishes to drink Bacardi from a glass in a club. <clears throat> because this song was released during lockdown and she wanted to party instead of being locked. 
in the lockdown. What's the deal with Mirex? Also, two poison could have been applied, right? I don't know if that it will matter. I would rather keep her blocker than apply poison. <clears throat> if I deal poison, it's gonna be 10 poison. It doesn't matter. Well, maybe it matters with Shadow Spear in some scenario, but I don't think it matters. Czekam aż w klubie będziemy ze szklanki i chwili Bacardi. Trup, 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 <śmiech> Raz, dwa, trzy, cztery. Sad lethal. Raz, dwa, trzy, cztery. You are dob. Oh, bro, I'm not fucking dob. I guess I asked, but. Raz, dwa, trzy, cztery, pięć, sześć. This is just eight. The king of combat, you can move the counters, okay. Why wouldn't you make a construct? Well, I will make a construct, bro, bro chill. Well, I don't need a blocker, though. This is one power. Becomes three power. Five power. Seven power. Sacrifices self. Gets plus eight power. Nine power? I mean, I can I count nine. You can sack three things, six. Move eight counters. The toxic though, they sacrifice the toxic. It's like they use less damage if it's not sacrificed. So I already counted for it when it's sacrificed. I don't know, bro. I don't have anything. I can't count the damage. Show me. What was this attack? Just die now, bro. Don't you realize that? I guess they don't. I guess they don't realize that. Planes, please. I don't need a planes. I guess I needed a land. Well, good thing I drew it. Hey, so yeah, thank you for the planes. Seems like a March matchup, if a needle matchup, not a nettle assist matchup, uh, not really a spell pierce matchup, although maybe. No, I don't want spell pierce, I think March is infinitely better and not an Esper Sentinel matchup. What is a nettle assist matchup? Nettle assist with Sanctifier on Vec is has been a good combination for me, like relatively good, not overwhelmingly so, but 
Not an S per Sentinel matchup, you say? I mean, there is like scale, there is spells, I don't think it's too bad. It's bad, it's because of Ballista, which is rough. And we have two Sentinel and one Spell Pierce, the one with the nice artwork. I think Caldra seems okay. Ballista will always be good. Well, but if I make it worse, it's gonna be worse. Do you think I keep this and just rely on Shadow Spear Caldra? Let's see what happens if I keep this. Camera is blurry. That's how I like it, yeah. Do you pitch a card here? This is hard. I don't think it's too hard. Seems like an easy pitch Ravager. I don't need this many cards. I probably won't play all three Stoneforges. How many round arenas? It's the last round. I am up a game. Against my opponent. Can Excel Saga for one mana? Barista, okay. Interesting. Are gonna top it if you win this game? Yeah. If I will lose this much, maybe I will top it too, but then you can get wrecked by breakers. Oh, they have their own. That's kind of stinky. There's no draws on Magic Online. You don't understand this opponent. I mean, they just want their ballista, it seems. It's a bit weird, though. They used to have draws a long time ago, if you remember correctly. I don't remember that. Well, you can have a draw, but then it it gives zero points to every player in the game. Instead of giving 
whatever amount of points it would have. The boss. Well, that's kind of spooky. Is it worth multi blocking? No, not really. It's probably worth jump blocking with Mem Knight. Sex in the cock. Can you get punished for a charm block? No, they can always shoot it. Reason for a split of Memnite and only top there? Well, sometimes one is better than the other. Then I can board out the one that's bad in that given matchup. Instead of not being able to. If I play against a Ragavan gamer, I can cut the only top If I play against a Ren6 gamer, I can cut the Mem Knights. Do they have a mysterious plan I'm not getting or are they clicking buttons? I don't understand that yet either. If they draw Ravager now, I probably die, but... But that's just universally true, probably. Raja will be free counter, sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. It is always you have you it is always Ravager you have to dodge through. So you draw Ravager now, it's a free free. Suck, 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 saga. Okay. To make it a 12th counter creature. It's kind of close. But they do let me do stuff like this. Seems ter terrible to me. Gain so much life this way. If you just shoot my other creatures, you're gonna get through for so many more, right? Overall. I don't know. What was that? Yeah, I mean... I don't get that. I don't know if Ravager actually does anything for them anymore. 
Is the ballista would need to be 2020? It's so big. Oh, now you shoot the Stoneforge, Mystic, okay. Attack Doma, Ekis Gotham, Bim Zmusha Zincia Kuntra. Doma, yeah, that's maybe okay. Left this back. I guess they will get Haywire might. Ravaja would kill you with Wing Mom Nexus wouldn't it? I don't think so. Three six. I guess with two, yeah. Give up the ballista? They can't pay grain for high wire. This is a grove that burn willows. They actually can. A uh, fifty life though, so. They're forced to jump with ballista. Yeah, yeah. They are. This is Grove of the Burn Willows, it is not Carplusian Forest, it has each opponent gains one life, instead. And they do have a scary board, we can draw some way to deal damage, but... We have some time to do so, but... Need something. Gingerbrot is already gone. Yeah, wrong ink moth. Honestly, maybe blocking the ink moth. Gain to life though, way too strong. Probably worth equipping Sentinel attacking. Well, we have 50 lives, so we have some time before we lose, so, but we need to draw something. Whoa! Getting through, okay. Okay. Now you can't play non-creatures versus this. What do you get here? So, do you have more mites? We have more mites, I guess I'm kind of fucked. Shadow Spear. Okay, that makes sense too. <clears throat> do I add to Black Skill Scale? Well, I don't know if it was very dangerous, because I clearly didn't have the Black Skill Smith. 
So it was not very dangerous because it clearly wasn't in my hand. I would say Druster, but that would make it like slightly dangerous and not very dangerous, I think. I wouldn't mind drawing a Saga myself. Tapped Ink Moth. Makes sense this turn. Nie no, zajebisam te drony. No ja pierdolę. No już mogę dobrać jeszcze cokolwiek, no. Nie, lądzik za lądzikiem po lądziku. Czego jeszcze byś chciał kanister? No, nic innego nie dostaniesz. Sentinel is gonna be okay on the play. Think I'll cut the spell pierce. Mata Nui, exactly. Alright, let's go. This is not too good. Blue white cannot be when. Never the Vinky. Hopefully a lot of the rings, yeah for sure that's gonna be white blue white canopy in there. Makes perfect sense. It's gonna be called Gondor Canopy. I'll keep this and I'll put back on it up there. I don't know what to needle. Fossil Plains Paladin? I don't really have a removal on their deck. Didn't seem like they do. I mean, they have ha one Haywire Might in their deck. Claim. Oh, come on, bro. Or the lul.
Bro, you have to press F2 to resolve this. I think I did the same thing. I tapped like it. I also tried to cast the hammer with this still on the stack. Hunger bug walker, okay. I think I get speed. <clears throat> Shadow Spear. Oh. Man up. I mean, Bosejo. Four, stay down a force in their deck. Come on. They don't play colored cards. Almost. I mean Ravager here or what? I don't know, actually. <laughs> Maybe Ravager. I think Ballista alone is less dangerous. Claim. Why not Needle first? Why, well, why Needle first? I'm not gonna name Bosejo. I think it's Ballista, we're fine with March. It's name Ravager. Find some weird timings, TBH. I mean, no, that wasn't really so weird. Made sense. It's before I can equip my artifacts, right?
They have two cards left. Seems like they don't have much, they just played as a boss next last turn. Number two. Gain some counters on the on the stuff. Sure, walkers or whatever. Why am I holding the jump knight? Oh, there is other standard deck. Good draw. Actually, move this to. I think the Stoneforge Mystic. Point says GG, so we're probably fine, but. Why on Stoneforge Mystic? Because you can't claim it. I guess it's indestructible, you can't claim it either. Same thing. Oh god, it's indestructible. Yeah, yeah, keep playing around the glamour. Do they actually survive here? No, I take it in. Adding top eight to the title. See chat, like four days of playing Hammer and I am able to top eight. I just need to keep playing the good decks and play them with like some remote capability of playing them and not play shit decks and shuffle between them every day. It's the last round, we got to the top 8. So I need a brain? No, I need practice, not brain. Brain is actually not needed. So the best deck if you know the lines. I don't know if that's true, but it's good. Do I think creativity is a shit deck? No, it's not a shit deck, it's a fine deck. Do you think playing a good deck net better results to playing a bad deck? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Haven't you been playing Hammer all week? Yeah, I have. That's why. Well, might argue creativity is the best deck in the format. You could argue that, yeah. I'm not entirely sure if that's true, but could be. It's a little bit of a Clunky deck sometimes. Yeah, a little bit of mana inconsistencies in there. Which I don't love. Do you think playing well yields better results than playing poorly? Yeah. 
Who's the best? Kaniki or Piegonti? Mm, Kaniki? Do I think modern metagame is very different between MTG and paper? Well, what is paper? Paper happens in a bunch of different places. Like, uh, maybe at your shop there is free mill gamers or something. Why isn't this card explored in Hammer Time? The ability to tone the opponent's hand seems so strong. Well, Fotsis was stuck in Hammer when Lurus was legal. The colors worked out well. Do you think you should have blocked the Fury? It's possible I should have, yeah. But this card used to be stock in Hammer, but... Spell piece is mostly stronger. But it is true that if you played Hammer face up, then it's probably a better deck. Then, then it is right now, when people don't play face up. So, for example, Probe it would be probably nice for Hammer, <laughs> for the knowledge. Any future Breach streams, loving that deck maybe. But I'm a Hammer main. I'm mostly gonna play Hammer. Because this card is mana negative and Hammer wins a lot by bottlenecking opponent's mana. That is true. That is certainly true. That happens a lot. What deck would be the best if all cards were face up? Maybe, well, probably, I don't know. I don't know if it would change all that much, but certainly it would make Hammer creativity worse. But also, Merktide Wars is interesting to think. Imagine you do as them and they have two bolts and one mana, and a black screw they just one through. It would be interesting to have a face-up tournament on Modo, where you just have play with your hand face-up at all times. It's probably evens out in largely, but I wonder how much more skill-intensive would it make the game. It's called streaming with no delay. Yeah, I just want to even the field. Next scanning can start tournament is going to be face up tournament, face up gaming. We give Giver into Stoneforge against Giganta, which is solid as far as gaining access to Kaldra. Would you just play like Amulet or something? Well, why would Amulet be beneficial? Your point would know when to hold up interaction, when to comment, right? And I like you are much more one-dimensional. <coughs> Could probably set up a show match with a streamer and snipe each other, yeah. Would you reveal hands after you choose to keep your hands? No, you just like draw face up and you're like, yeah. Mulligan and then you laugh at your point. You mulliganing this? Idiot, you don't know the matchup it seems. At all. Good draw. So I don't know what's Giganta, but it means no fury, so you can play the Memnite. We know that's not Fire Eyes, I guess. That that joke has already been done. Team Vents. Okay.
Winch of Teeth. Oh, wow. Banished. If someone chooses to not reveal Giganta Game 2, would you assume Fury or Bluff? I would assume... Well, not Fury, but something. Thank you for the raid, Gab. We have calculated today that you owe the... Uh, Modo community from this challenge $100 per uh, every of the two rounds you extended by by 10 minutes He's a if we combo player. take the minimum wage in the US Mana League, kurwa, no co za czarodziej? What's your paper? <laughs> no, no, not to me, you have to give it to, to everyone. I'm not sure what's the best system, but... Bros, we're leaking. The Finn's Tower? <laughs> What is my opponent doing? It's mana base, they probably play Leyland Binding in their deck. Why US minimum wage and not say high T? Because that was what I googled. Can I explain the Lavinia Magistrate split? Well, well what is there to explain? I only need to explain anything if you have a float-based assumption that playing a large amount of the same card is better than playing the same amount of the same effect split across different cards. So on BTL? Possibly. They are certainly on Mana League though. Why you kill the game mechanic and not play out more artifacts? So that they can't ping my Esper Sentinel. That is kinda close. But I would not like to get my Esper Sentinel pinged. Will meddling mage be banned in your hand reveal tourney? No, why? It's gonna be encouraged even. I'll settle for the blind if you needle your fetch. Yeah, needle extraction. All of those get much better. Mm. 
Nettles is helping here. I don't know what's my point. Sand seems like nothing. They just have lands. Top card reveal two for Ragavan. Ah, oh, we could do that, but I think that's a bit extreme. No, no, you can't end. Just the uh, order of cards determined from the beginning. Nettles is not more not helping anymore. We need to drop Paladin. It's the hand always revealed. It's just, it's just revealed. Don't overthink it. I mean, we drew it, but they have exactly enough mana to, to get me anyways. Silent Clearing is objectively the worst canopy you can play as it doesn't fake burn. And Horizon Canopy as an expedition art. Horizon Canopy fakes the might. But I the reason why I play Silent Clearing is because I have Silent Clearings in paper. So I just play with it. And I had Horizon Canopy, but I think I lent it out to someone and I don't have it in my in my house right now. So, if I get it, I'll get it, but... Looks like a bad matchup. I don't know, bro. I think Mana Leak is this good against Summer. I don't really have Cyborg cards for matchups like this. Am I on Might? I'm not. What a hand. Because you don't like Hashbringer. Yeah, Hashbringer is not even good here. Like, I don't think Hashbringer would be an improvement over the cards I cut, really, so. So, yeah, I guess I don't like him. How do I beat infant removal? I don't know, I spell pierce it. I don't know, well, okay, I don't know how do I beat infinite removal, but I know how do I beat three to five pieces of removal, just play through it. They have actual infant removal, they actually hacked Modo somehow to have literally unending lightning bolts. Costing zero mana, then yeah, you win. You deserve it.
How do I beat the Zogran Scepter Angel's Grace? Probably they don't. It's a good strat. What if they made a card that has split second and ends the turn? That would be quite good. I guess Infect does be Dangerous Grace, that is insane. Bro is gonna play a hacking Ice Fan Quattle now. Punish for attacking. Kinda? Hammer can be the infant removal of the skill next to streak. That's actually a good point. Put on Nif to light. No, they just play cards. Snow, Omnath, Basics, Snow, Pitch Elementals, Giganta, Mana Leak, Midrange. Probably they played a Fairy Time Raveler, Unholy Heat, Binding, some other removal. Snow plus binding, good combo. It's actually okay. You fetch one triumph, then you fetch snow lands. Like you just play the card, and it's fine if they're not. If they don't have death touch until later in the game, just like you don't need to rush everything like that. You can keep it s a bit slower sometimes. Bro. Why you let me draw? That cartel frame is still a sin. It's pretty terrible, yeah. It's pretty good against my spell pierce. Oh, now they have a second one. Fuck me, bros. Why do I keep attacking this stupid shit? It's fine, I guess it's fine to attack, probably, but no blocks anyways, okay, good. Was it played in blocks? Good. I mean, that means it's left to block this, not good. Attack into mana leak mana, yeah. I think we're gonna lose. How do we build infinite ice fun cartels? This guy really doesn't play Soul to be on Giganta. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Soul to is overrated, bros. He bested me today, please can he avenge me? What what is in my point stack? Yeah, 
Ska vi färd kvartal? Attraxa! <laughs> Bro, jag är playing Attraxa, ironically. Guys, so good. The cut was so good against Summer. After a certain point. I mean, it was pretty clear I had the spell pierce, so it's, it's, there are like two turns of the game. The fact that they decided to play around a card in my hand might mean that they decided to play around a card in my hand, chat. It does not mean that my opponent is watching the stream necessarily. I know that not many are capable of the mental load of thinking of what is in their opponent's hand as their well too con way too concerned with what is in their own hand, but... It is actually possible for some people to take opposing hand into consideration. So like of course when they play around it like they if they start playing around Pierce, they will just play around Pierce. The entire time. I miss losing these situations, bro. I do too. I would not mind a Lurus now. What's that time raveler? Was my first unnerved companion deck? Hmm. First unnerved companion deck. I don't know. I think it was a Yorion deck. Standard band control. It was like enough band cards that I put them all together and made a control deck out of that and I played cancels with cycling. There was a arena only GP that I played. Oh yeah, Shadow Prophecy makes perfect sense. And I think I debated that. The snow basics they look so not nice. You won the second modern challenge the day after Lurus came out. Um, the first Lurus winning deck was Grixis Delver. And I remember that Sodek, Sodek was in the finals with Dredge. And the guy just hard Mulgan to Tormod script and had Tormod script every turn starting from turn 3. And Sodek lost very hard to that. Yeah. 
And since then we knew that it's pretty solid. You can Caldera for mana next turn. If you congratulate the opponent in Polish, maybe, I don't know. You can pick up Bosedju now. I think we lose. Obosh oh, Mona Red Agra got you 1k in an arena open. Damn. Shadow prophesized. Sergio Cock, yeah. How do we beat infant Bosergius? I guess I could tap this on Forge. <laughs> I just I was just like in the hard casting it mindset already. I was like, yeah, good, I need to hard cast. Okay. They were ready. Some people sometimes play the fairy time raveler and hammer. Would the fairy time raveler do anything for me this game? I don't quite think so. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool. As a grindy card, grindy free drop. Well, white white is not even easier to cast than the fairies cast. Maybe I play the fairy, a granny card times one. Big move, big play, big effect. It does seem like my opponent's deck is a tough matchup, so. You got it, Broskis. Reality chip would be a good grinding card here. It wouldn't. It would trade for a removal spell. Maybe silly question. Why we keep attacking Tefari? Well, if I if I don't attack Tefari, then he bounce my guy anyways. Which then I can equip to Stoneforge, assuming Stoneforge survives, so maybe that's better. But it really didn't matter. Chase's Ingenuity would be a great grinding card here. Now that's a good idea. But yeah, I think Cheap is a little bit of a meme card. What is not a meme is the fact that Prime Gaming allows you to su subscribe to you, your favorite streamers on Twitch for free. And it is a, an opportunity that you shouldn't be missing. And if you were to choose to subscribe specifically to Canister underscore MTG, you would gain many benefits such as access to the occasional deck guides they post on my Discord channel, access to the Discord channel private, uh, private sections for subs only, where you can discuss with many five head gamers at any time of the day you can get access to emotes like canny poggers canny pog or canny rage or other funny emotes that are very very 
very nice. There is no hammer gate yet. Maybe there will be. Maybe I will record a hammer video at some point. And uh, you also are going to be more liked by me if you subscribe because I will recognize your name as it appears in uh, the resub message every month and I'll be saying, hey, X, thanks for resubbing. So make sure that you use your Twitch Prime, Prime Gaming, because otherwise it is uh, a waste. Also, you get free tongue requests on the stream. But yeah, I feel like I very rarely lose win the quarterfinals if I top 8 a challenge. I wonder what's my like quarterfinal win rate, but I feel like it might be 30%. Maybe I I feel like I achieved what I wanted to achieve. And I relax and I don't play as hard, but I don't know, also I don't think I was ever beating my opponent's deck and draws here with my deck and draws. Seems like potentially a little bit of a tough matchup between the Aquatos and all removal. Have you come a step closer to deciding what to play in Prague? I have already decided I will play Hammer. I am locked since Thursday. W QF to mogłeś już schować łapę TBH? Nie, nie będzie chowania łapy. Did I come closer to it? No, I guess I'm the same distance. Masz chwilę potem co o hammerze pogadać? No, mogę mieć, mogę mieć. Hope we meet in the finals in Prague. Me too. Probably could have saved Sentinels from Iceland Ambush. Yeah, yeah. I could have not attacked with the first Sentinel. That would be actually pretty good, I think. So that was that was a different play I could have made. I mean, we, we didn't see Ice Van Kortos game one. We've seen Snow Forest, so that was probably telling. But of course, they could just be playing Snow Forest for hijinks. Hope we made in the quarters in Prague for the free win, yeah. What I said was true for the modo, modo challenges. I don't know if it translates to paper events. Anyways, I guess that's gonna be it for today. We got a 6 to 5th place. We'll see if Ecstasy 233 is going to win the entirety of the challenge with his with their sick build. And uh, I will see you tomorrow, I guess. Posted a meme on Twitter. Let's see if we got the reacts for it. 179 polubień, jedno cytuj i 12 tweetów podanych dalej. Okay. When you started, I was thinking of keeping Pierce or Blacksmith is better. In the opening hand, yeah, maybe. Because I did end up playing around the Pierce. I wanted Pierce more because you could counter Ren and the Fairy out of their deck, which seemed obviously in the deck, and especially with Sentinel, it seems pretty powerful to have the Ren answer. Was it Eldritch Atraxa? No, it was Giganta. It was just Atraxa. Nothing Eldritch about it. Heck, I might still be playing MTG if I were allowed to invert people. See? You can't handle the truth. Well, is it supposed to say that I can't handle the truth, or Wizards? Cannot handle the truth. 
So I don't know if I should block this person or not. Kiori 58 is Kiori 58 in the chat sometimes? I think they might be. Have we done enchant wordle? We did, yeah. Read the inverter, like. Reinverter, like. Sorry, but no. So block we. False. So block we. Reinverter, like. Modern day never ban splinter twin. Mm. Mute. All right, filtered. <laughs> hey, nice vlog, canister. Please make more. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button. And there will be a new vlog of ski episode coming from Minneapolis for sure. But make sure to to do the things on YouTube because uh, it actually doesn't have that many views compared to like the other videos. There's somebody that's 5-0 in showcase pioneer qualifier of Neo from Atraxa, which sounds pretty funny. Mr. Kenny, I watched it four times, please. I am doing everything I can. Thanks. See you tomorrow.